All right. And we are live with a new mic. <laughs> What's going on, Ram? Talk to me. Let me know how the levels are sounding. Got a new audio setup, so I want to make sure everything is good. Frodo in the building. What's going on? Drew Martin, I see you. Minute Repeater. What's going on? Game Plato was out here first. Knees taste turf. The Lords are here. You already know. Lydian Master, what's going on? Let me know how my levels are sounding. Like I said, new audio setup. So, oh, thank you, Mr. Frodo. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let me ask you this, oh, Frodo. Um, obviously, it's new. Like, would you say better, louder, clearer? <laughs> you know, just a comparison to the old setup. Because, again, new setup. I just want to see how that uh, sounds. Corey Mosley, what's going on? Deep Floyd. Salute to the Lords of Gaming. You already know. We're going to have some fun in here. So, yeah, let me know, oh, Frodo, what you think. In comparison to how the old mic sounded. Do I need to turn up? Do I need to is, it, is it good? Is it better? Is it not better? K. Asante, what's going on, bro? Talk to me. What's going on? Yeah, we're going to get everybody in the round. We have the legendary Dan Butchko pulling up eventually. Oh, it sounds like I'm sitting right next to the mic. Okay, okay, okay. I, I guess that's good. That's good because that's how I guess these are. Uh, uh, sure microphones, you know what I mean? Coming in clean, a bass for that. Oh, thank you. Jigga J, my man, sounds good and loud. Yeah, they, they, they stepped my setup, man. Shout out to the Dukes. You know what I'm saying? I had to level up to get on their level, so this is the new joint. All right, no doubt, no doubt. Coming in with that Joe Rogan mic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's going to be fun, y'all. We're going to get uh, the legendary Dan Butchko up in here. Got to find out what's going on with Attic. We'll see if he'll pull up. Saul should pull up. And, of course, the king will be pulling up with music in tow. So we will mute him because we don't want copyright strikes. <laughs> Hope everybody's good, chilling. And um, I will see y'all in a bit. Be right back. I gotta give him two cup shots while I live out. T. Hetris, Weathersby, Subcom, what's going on? And Gerald Mack, uh, what's going on? Shout out to the ILO Podcast, all hell to ILP. KSRT, very clear, what kind of the upgrade? This is the Shure, what is it, S7 MB? Whatever the mic Joe Rogan used, <laughs> it's that one. <laughs> so I've never really used one of them XLR mics before, the power joints, got the little mix or whatever. So, you know, this is the debut for it. And eventually, the rest of the Lord will be upgrading as well. So, uh, yeah, acquisition season. <laughs> no doubt, no love. But, all right, I got to run. I'll be back. I got to start getting people in the room. I'll talk to you.
Hear ye, hear ye, man. Welcome to the show. If you would not mind, go ahead and uh, find yourself a spot, get comfortable, grab a snack, do all that good stuff that we need to do, and, um, you know, we're about to get started. I am, well, it's not important who I am. Uh, what's important is that you are pulling up to the Iron Lords podcast right now as we speak, and uh, I guess I'm here to keep you entertained until it's time to get this show started. So, um, <clears throat> look. Y'all done messed up and turned me to an animal And haters be swearing they real But come to find out that they really mechanical And yeah, I be eating these rappers But that's all a part of me being a cannibal And they say I'm better than money Because you can bank on me being accountable I know a million rappers that don't want to be on a song with me That's understandable I kill a beat and they want to compare me to Freddie and Jason I'd rather be Hannibal They be like, why use a video game? Just be original, y'all too dramatical I know it's random, but I am addicted to flipping the sample And making it flammable This is that yo- yo- yoga fire. This is that yoga fire flame They think it's arson up in the apartment They call it department and I get the blame still i'll be running collecting them rings you just a target when i'm in the range i was the hardest to start regardless back when you was messaging people on aim check my vocals all on twitter but i'm anti-social love my city but i'm still by coastal i got you. no let's switch that up what are you doing don't stop no that was dope i'm just <laughs> Look, I guess you could say that I'm very spoiled Fit on to be your dog, they ain't very loyal But I ain't gonna hold ya, I ain't here to boil ya You ain't gotta say it, I'm embarrassed for ya Always been a nerd, never been a loser Making Voltron with a gang of cougars And I'm going places better tell a Uber Cause it's pretty hard to sleep on Freddy Krueger That's, whew, let's do that again I'ma just chill and watch them and eat snacks in the attic I wanted to chill with the pack and be like a young whoop But then they would mistake me for addict If I can imagine it's cool to get you some advice Then invite your girl to your squadron Cause if you don't give her that option You gon' be single player like Sovereign You gon' get tossed in the bushes by King David Royalty and not a pretender Detrimental to an elemental What's an avatar to a knee bender I gotta be me though I know it's my destiny Work to Carnito Who cares if you fly if you still a mosquito You swear you ain't something but really be steve yeah, yeah. You like to collect stuff and that's cool But I got bad news even if you really was that dude, King David still be the king of the statues. Since a juvenile, I've been cursed with a curse to be musical. And if you hate it, we'll meet in the crucible. Other than that, then it's cool and it's beautiful. We let you know that your dreams are pursuable. Whatever you want to do, then it's doable. If you got work on a Sunday, it's suitable. Because you can listen to this in your cubicle on the Lord's Day. If you got work on a Sunday, it's suitable. Because you can listen to this in your cubicle on the Lord's Day. All right, and we are live. Welcome to the Iron Lords Podcast, LLC, and also live on lordsofgaming.net, episode number 216. It's another glorious Sunday. We're back at the round table on the Lord's Day. I'm extremely excited about our special guest, and we've got Play NYC, Skyward Sword HD. Yeah. <laughs> Switch OLED announcement and Sony State of Play to discuss. So we going to get right into it. I want to introduce a Lord who is not only a good friend of the realm, the ILP, but whose passion for the cultivation of independent game development is truly a sight to behold. Whether it be educating those on the business side of indie games or creating a community of future developers through interactive events, this Lord is a beacon of inclusion in that New York entrepreneurial spirit. Introducing the CEO and founder of Playcrafting, producer of the Bit Awards and the Play NYC Gaming Convention, the Lord of Global Game Jams, and come July 16th, will unite with Lord King on their favorite Zelda ever, that Skyward Sword, live from New York City and making his return into the realm of the Lords. My man, Lord Dan Butchko. How we doing, sir? 
I, I think I need to bring you along anytime I speak at an event to just like give me an introduction because you're so much better at talking about me than I am. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, yes, an absolute pleasure. You all, Lord, at what you do, man, it is absolutely a pleasure to have you back in the realm. First off, how you been? I think recently you went through like a, a big move, and then mm -hmm. um, if you have you got a chance to get any gaming in, sir? So just what's going on with you, man? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I just moved back into the city after about a year, year and a half away. Mm -hmm. um, very big move, but mm -hmm. the world is opening up. New York is going back to normal. So it feels so nice to finally be back in the best city Ooh. in the entire world. Yeah. You want to hear, can't right? complain. Can't complain. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, of course, getting some gaming in for sure. Um, right now, all I have here in my new apartment is mm -hmm. Uh, my PS5. So um, I, I've been a little thirsty for exclusives, but we can get into that a little bit. My, my, my condolences, sir. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah. doubt. No doubt. So it's been that, but it's cool. So you just getting adjusted back into the, you know, the, got the new place going. So wait, wait, a question. Where are the, all the consoles? Are those in transit or what's going on? Yeah. So I came here with the PS5. Um, my next get is my Switch. Now, the problem is that in my year plus living back home with my parents, mm -hmm. we were playing Animal Crossing on my Switch every <laughs> single day. Oh, and my, my mom fell in love with it oh, and no. plays it religiously every single day to this day. I think she has like 600 hours in there Ooh, or something. It's over. Yeah, and so I... Yeah, I got to figure out how I can like get a new switch and l let her keep just my Animal Crossing save <laughs> and everything else. Yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, you know what? Luckily, you're in luck. <laughs> Nintendo just announced <laughs> a new switch. There we go. <laughs> no, no. Yo, Eric, do me a solid before we start. I think some super chats. Get super chat, came in. I just see one right yeah, now. Yeah, you grab that one for me. Uh, so we got a five dollars super chat from Jared Mack. Lord Cognito needs to put a patent. To uh, put a pen on every damn near every word he says, oh. all hell the I'll be. Salute, Gerald. Yeah. Much love, much yeah, love. People are running name. around with the verbiage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we see a lot of Lord's verbiage. All we ask is pay homage to the source. Yeah. Where well, you heard it from. Where you heard it from. Oh, you, you know what? But what, what what might happen is they might hear it from somebody else and think it started. Yeah, there, that's so, true, too. Know, true. Yeah. Lord, Lord started a lot of sayings, yeah, but it's all good. It. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> good to have Lord Dan in the room. And you already know we got the four. Well, looks like three horsemen of gaming. Hopefully, Lord Solve will be coming in hot. But the original Lords of the Realm at the round table with some time sensitive intros because we got to still respect Dan here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. My co host with the co host, my brother from another mother, the difficult game conqueror, Lord of his own world, and the how of the young wolf. My man, Lord Addict, how we doing, sir? Doing pretty good. Uh, I ain't really done a whole lot in terms of gaming. I played a lot of Persona 5 R Royale this week, but uh, okay, okay. I, I gotta tell people, man, go on there on Netflix and try that Fear Street movie. Okay. Like, really good. Th th those are good. Like, it, it kind of gives me like they switch stuff up every movie. It mm -hmm. looks like th there's three movies. Yes, yeah, three of them. And uh, like I'm like I'm sitting here going out of the first one. Like this is this is a great show. <laughs> uh, and and uh, then then I get to the second one and I finish the second one. I'm like, how did they beat the first one? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. So, so you guys high hopes for the third one, right? Yeah, but but I've seen people have really good starts, and then they just like, oh, we we put all the money in the first couple. <laughs> yeah, out. No the sequel curse, no doubt. Yo, what a way to grease. He like Fish Street is awesome. He's he giving yeah, me check those out. No yeah, doubt. And then they 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 prove why they the king of the streaming stuff. Man. No like, doubt. Yeah, they're killing it. They're killing it. And of course, well, we're waiting on our technical game lord, but hopefully he will be here. But of course, we have the incredible Hulk of this, aka the Excess Gamer. Ooh. The prophet of Xbox, king of the statues, who demands nothing less than that premium experience. It is the leader of the fraud alert movement. Ooh. Beloved Lord King, how are we doing, sir? I'm doing better than Conor McGregor. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all that like, like I, I feel like I feel like Anderson Silva done put a curse on that place. What is that, that with everybody with the leg breaks? No, yeah. no. Listen, let me let me tell you something. What happens when when you have mm -hmm. uh, you make 180 million dollars in a year, and you 
the fight purse doesn't even cover what you make in endorsements. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. um, it really doesn't make any sense. The reason why his ankles gave out because he has Gucci ankles now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so that, that's the, that's the buddy he yes, got for the yeah, Floyd fight. Yeah. So the ankle beard is custom to the Gucci. Well, that, that messed up the trade. Remember, he, he's also the owner proprietor of Proper Twelve, mm -hmm. sir, and Proper Twelve is making great money. Uh, throughout the world, and it tastes fantastic. Shout mm -hmm. out to Proper Twelve. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I must say, you know, um, he doesn't have hardworking ankles anymore. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like he, he himself may want it, but his ankles didn't. His ankles, <laughs> his ankles his rich slippers betray yes, him. He has, he has rich ankles, and you know, hopefully, my ankles can get as weak and soft as his. Um, <laughs> oh, you, but, you you're encouraging that kind of ankle that, that level yes, up in ankle. Yes, okay. I'm encouraging that your feet no longer wants to participate in rough stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's it. That's it. So, now shout out to Connor and his retirement. God bless. Stay away. The, the game does not need you you do not need the game you have far succeeded uh past what you needed to do and you're rich sir you're rich you're famous and mm -hmm. you have your health you're starting to lose your health just walk away he um, ain't walking away he his ego won't get in the way he that. has to mm -hmm. okay until something really tragic happens mm -hmm. it starts with the ankle and ends with something else you know it could have yeah. been a whole lot worse he'll, so, he'll throw away his whole body before he admits someone beat him yeah the <laughs> thing, <laughs> thing is going to be with him is the pride how long yeah. does he stay in you know because you know his mom because notice notice it, it, it notice you saw when he was on the floor right he, he was screaming leg. doctor stop it doctor yeah, stop yeah, yeah. <laughs> he cared about the, the 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 terminology of the loss you know mm -hmm. what i mean it, like he yeah, that, that shows reckless. me he yeah. ain't never gonna quit until yeah. he feels oh, like oh, he he go ahead continue he wants that everyone says he the best. Like, yeah, but that's it. You know, time sensitive. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, I watched Black Widow in the house uh, mm -hmm. with the family, and yeah. it. You know, shout out to Disney Plus for saving me over a hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Had I had to get up, oh, and he's go capping for every subscription now. Yeah. I would have had to get popcorn. My kids would have, somebody would have had to go to the bathroom time. in between. And I do not care for that. And I don't care for anybody being drunk in a movie theater. I, I really just had a fantastic time in a house with the family uh -huh. watching a movie that I can stop, pause, rewind, and check out uh -huh. and say, oh. Are you, are you implying that you may be done with a theater, sir, with this Thank Disney you for thing. the, thank, you know, certain, certain silver linings happen in a pandemic. And <laughs> this is one of those silver linings that I will take full advantage of. 20 9.95 uh they have my cash i've been playing <laughs> and it was a, it's a great movie i have a new crush uh oh yes yeah, oh, oh, yeah. oh 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 now, okay, okay, married men oh, excuse me sir I, I'm, just, I'm just married men on the panel here i'm not blind <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, wait, wait wait a second you, just because you are involved with somebody you. you're just supposed to be like no nothing else looks delectable avert Sorry, your sir. eyes sir avert your eyes <laughs> yeah no i will not avert my, my eyes <laughs> I was trained in on that. Oh, <laughs> yo. You let me give a quick is? shout out. Let me give a quick shout out. Yeah. Shout out to Lloyd A. C. G. Is yeah, he's crazy. Crazy. He's he talking he's reckless. Crazy. He said, I wish I ran a milk company. I would do UFC sponsorship. Salute. <laughs> and he said, yeah, he agrees with King. He agrees with King. Yeah, thank you. Much cheaper to do it. But we got it. Tom says, I, I, I got to back up. Cause mm -hmm. we got uh, the, the 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 smooth one has arrived. You know what I'm saying? And just let me just fi finish, oh, finish. I'm sorry, with I'm sorry. what finish. I've been yes, playing yes, for the yes. week, sir. Yes, sir. Before you, before before you try to take away time, from, finish it from the guy that was actually time. here to the give it to the guy. Oh, 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 <laughs> attendance I, account. I, I, attendance account. matters, put, sir. Put, put the crest up. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, Dragon Quest. Yes. Oh my God, Dragon Quest Eleven. Um, it's such a phenomenal game. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely, and I. I I really appreciate every time I play the game, every time I do a spell, it just harkens back and it, and it didn't <laughs> lose its essence of an RPG, a traditional RPG. And I love that stuff so much. You know, and it, it awakened more RPG-ness inside of me. That's every cool, time Like a Dragon's come out, every time Dragon Quest is on its 12th installment mm -hmm. and it's still pop, and every time Persona comes out for very successful uh Fran uh, every, uh, entry in the franchise. I'm over there looking at Square Enix. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's like, like these it's people it. stay to their true core, and they mm -hmm. and they they worked with it. It's like you you bounce. Like you was yeah. like, no, we leaving. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, abs absolutely. It's cool that's why because me and um 
me and Megatron were talking, like, like Microsoft, man, anyone watching here from Microsoft, hit up Mistwalker and get that blue dragon going, mm-hmm. man. Like, Please, I love that yeah. game. Lost Odyssey, let's go. Yeah, no doubt. You I think know. blue dragon's more like Dragon Quest, so I think yeah. it would, like, resonate with people more right now. Like, yeah. And, of course, joining in, coming in hot. Like the switch. <laughs> we have our most technical gaming lord, the solo gamer who lives for the single player selfish experience. And also the Sastra Davis, the Lord of Clarity and Lord Patriot of the Iron Bank. My man, Lord Sovereign, how we doing, sir? Good afternoon, gentlemen. What's going on? Yeah, oh, coming in very high. I was, I was going to, I was looking at uh, properties, so I'm sorry. Oh, I had okay. to run. <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, yeah, excuse yeah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very uh, <laughs> bougie. Yeah, 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 yeah real bougie. That's, 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 we're talking about Gucci ankles talk, right? Yeah. 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 That's a Gucci ankle guy. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah those ankles so. getting real soft. <laughs> yeah. shout, shout out to soft ankles. Yeah, yeah, very but, <laughs> soft ankles, yes, sir. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Shout out and welcome to Lord Butchko. Welcome back to the realm, sir. Great Thanks so much. You. Good to see you. Likewise, likewise. Everything um, good, yeah, everything's good. You know, missed you yesterday at at, at yeah. IPIC Theater, sir. We, I had the bougie experience last night. Went to see a. Uh, uh, what you would call it? Um, Black Widow. Black I don't Widow. even remember the name. <laughs> Black Widow. Um, it was good to be back in the theater. I know. Yeah. I I definitely know what King's talking about because King King has a lot of people to take care of. Yeah, I ain't like, worried about it. it no more. It's done. Thank you. <laughs> but um, it was good to be in the theater. Have my Norma Jean and uh, oh, in, Lord, in, in, in Lord Cog's absence. Oh, I made sure. Appreciate it. I'm uh, healing up, brother. Yeah, what, so, what, what did you think about it? It in, was in your opinion. I enjoyed it. I really okay. enjoyed it. I thought there were certain edits that kind of cut the movie weirdly short for me. Like it just mm-hmm. felt like there were certain parts where you could have had more exposition. Mm-hmm. Um, and in terms of the action, I wish the action had veered more towards um, sort of like Jason Bourne type action, like mm-hmm. like sort of visceral, very close uh, quarters combat. I yeah. think that would have really, really made that oh, movie yeah. pop yeah. more. Because they did some of that, a little bit of that. Then they transitioned immediately to like Marvel style bombastic combat and and, and mm-hmm. scenes, which were cool. Mm-hmm. But I think because she's not a superhero per se, right. she doesn't have powers like that. I think that sort of combat would have really, really resonated more. But all in all, like I said, yeah, I, I have a, I have a new uh, crush. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> no, no. I agree Fantastic. with you. Quickly, any any game, sir? No games this week at all. Nothing at all. I, I've been working. I've been hustling. It's that been that a crazy life. Week. That property buying life. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. These yeah. super chats here. Have you guys read them yet? Um, no. No. I've read, so um, yeah, actually, yeah. There's no one. Get get those for me, so if you can. Okay. So and we got my trouble with both. Uh, Flame two dollars super chat. Also, a big recommend to Monster Hunter Stories two. Yes. Then we got Gerald Mac five dollars super chat. Lord Cognito needs to put a patent to put a patent on damn near every word he says. All <laughs> the I O P. King is we're, the one. King gets we're, we're working on it. We're working on. We're on top of that. <laughs> 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 then we have Select Bang 007, five pound super chat. Hello to the lords. I'm repping my I L P T while waiting to watch England in the final. Come on, let's go. Oh, let's nice. get it. Nice. Let's get it. Let's get it. Then we have Flame once again five dollars super chat. Happy Sunday, everyone. Just wanted to say it's been a fun week and welcome to the royalty for the stream. Have a great show, guys. Hashtag behaving. <laughs> Which we never do. Yeah. Uh, then we got A Septima. Let's put the crest in the put chat the for the newest up. member of the realm. Welcome, yes. Lord Bronze. A Septima. Thank you so much. Yes. I don't know if anything else popped up. No, that's it. Let's get it. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. And of course, we have the gaming ninja himself, the Duke. And Shinobi, Lord Kanye. <laughs> yes. The Lord and a Duke, Lord sir. and a Duke. Yeah, I did my uh, theology on that. But that's <laughs> spreading the realness of the realm of the ILP. Not telling you what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. I'll make this quick. Um, happy born to everybody. Give a happy birthday to my bro, Ebontis. It is his oh, birthday. Oh, happy birthday. He's very shy about okay. celebrating these things. So I, we have to do this. We have to all uh, send out some love and tweet them out directly. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother. Sorry, I could not be there Friday healing from this little ear allergy thing. But I'm on the mend. I'm doing much better. The pain is less. Um, mm. Yeah, other than that, man, Um, just I've been a little bit, just slightly gaming, a little bit of Destiny Solstice. Solstice. Uh, Mass Effect 2 still in that grind, and I'm still MLB the show. Basically, the same three games I've been playing <laughs> the last, you know, say a couple of weeks or so. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get into why we are here. So, um, yeah, we got to focus on uh, Lord Dan. The latest updates at Playcrafting, the indie game scene, and of course, the triumphant 
physical return of Play NYC convention in August. So, Lord Dan, for those in the realm who are completely unfamiliar to you, maybe, you know, new, like, let the people know who Dan Butchko is and what exactly is Playcrafted. Sure. So, first and foremost, like, gaming is in my blood. That is the first thing I identify with when it comes to anything related to Playcrafting. So, like, fan, first and foremost. Nice. Secondly, um, yeah, I, I head up Playcrafting. So we started way back in 2009 as a meetup group um, for local independent game developers in New York City to connect with each other, show off what they're working on, um, knowledge share, uh, learn from each other. And it just kind of grew and grew from there. So now we're a nationwide network of independent game developers. And we do a whole lot of stuff. We offer education. So folks that might want to learn how to make games, how to be successful in the gaming industry can do so through us. Uh, we do tons and tons of events, um, which we'll get into our biggest one, Play NYC, oh, yeah. in a little bit. Oh, yeah. um, and I think the coolest thing that that's also the newest part of Playcrafting mm -hmm. is that we found this really great way to sort of match make independent game developers, solo developers, smaller studios with huge brands so they can actually make games in partnership with big brands like the NFL, Verizon, nice. Bose. And mm -hmm. it's been really, really cool to see that that's, kind of, that's generated a couple million dollars now for independent game developers to do that kind of work with those huge companies. So mm -hmm. it's been, it's a lot of stuff that we're doing over at Playcrafting. And I think that uh, this particular time of year is by far our busiest because what I like to call our labor of love is Play <laughs> NYC. And mm -hmm. uh, and I remember the first year we launched it in 2017, it was like, all right, we're signing up now for a busy, busy summer from now until the end of eternity. But <laughs> it's so worth it because New York needed its own yes. all games convention. Oh, and yes. so that's yes. what we wanted to build. And uh, and yeah, this this year obviously feels a little weird. It feels a little bit like the first year because we're coming back in person for the first time since mm -hmm. 2019. Mm -hmm. um, but it just felt like it was going to be such a missed opportunity if we didn't have it in August with everybody already vaccinated, all the regulations in place. It, it didn't make sense for us to wait another year. And so we wanted to make sure we were right at the forefront and doing what we needed to do mm -hmm. to make sure we could do a really safe and fun convention for folks. Because this will be the first time back for a lot of people, yeah. developers, mm -hmm. fans, all, all across the board. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... First of all, love, love what you're doing in, in the indie game scene, you know, providing those opportunities, especially what you said in reference to the education part. I think that is really cool because there's so many sides of game development, you know, the education of actually trying to make a game, you know, the business side, you know, then there's mm -hmm. the promotion and the partnerships and all these things involved. And I love two things that you do. One is that East Coast focus because, you know, I'm a little biased here. It's the, it's the home team. And I, I, I love that, you know, we, you're making New York and the East Coast, you know, you, you're prioritizing those in that area mm -hmm. to at least attempt so that, because let's be honest, Dan, right? It's always been told in the games industry, yo, you got to go out to San Francisco or you got to go to Washington. You know, you can't do it in New York and, and things like that. I mean, you've talked, obviously, interviewed with you before live on the show floor about the the lack of, what, what, what do you say, like tax breaks and things that would help game developers kind of be here. Now, we do have some. So I think we have, we have what is, uh, Take Two, we have um, Avalanche. Avalanche. Yeah, we mm -hmm. have a few, right? But yeah. in general, you know, to, to, to kind of make it a more attractive thing. So the question, my next follow-up question to this is, with that being said, and the New York thing, and the indie game scene, like in general, what struggles are you seeing from indie game developers as far as just like trying to get their games out or just trends you may be noticing with up and coming independent game developers. Yeah, I think the the hardest thing first and foremost is that there are hundreds and hundreds of games coming out every single day. And so it's really mm -hmm. hard for independent developers to stand out. Yes. Um, this is, you know, the the nature of game development is is such that all of us here now could make games right now for mm -hmm. free and get started. Mm -hmm. And so that means that tons more people are making games than ever before. So many more games are being released than ever before. So I think the hardest part for a lot of independent developers is to get their games noticed. Um, you look at the Switch alone, how many um, like independent games come out on a weekly basis, and so many of them mm -hmm. you've never heard of before. Yeah. Um, behind each of those games is 
one to 10 or more people who worked tirelessly on those games. And so I think the sustainability is a really challenging part because right. a lot of folks will put their blood, sweat and tears into a game and get it out there. And a lot of times if it doesn't hit on that first one, yep. they may need to move on to something else because they yeah. need to pay the bills. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? So, so I think that's probably one of the biggest struggles. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, it takes that sort of entrepreneurial New York, like can't stop, won't stop attitude Woo! to keep going. <laughs> yeah, because it's shout out to Diddy. Shout out to Diddy. Take yes. that, take mm -hmm. that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm sure that was ingrained in my head from like yes. sixth grade. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. But yeah, I think I think that's probably the biggest struggle. And when it comes to New York, there are a few bigger companies here. But even with Play NYC, a big part of why I wanted to put it together and, and make it happen was to show that even without, you know, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, a, a huge collection of giant companies in the games industry being here, there already are tons and tons of smaller studios and solo developers that are making really cool, interesting outside the box content for all different kinds of uh, systems. And so mm -hmm. even in the absence of that, one thing that, that you'll see at Play NYC that's a real reflection of New York City itself right. is all of these great smaller titles and uh, local multiplayer that, games. That, and that's what mm -hmm. I wanted to um, like to jump in on because yeah. from going to Play NYC uh, and Play Crafting, mm -hmm. I saw the diversity. I saw the melting pot, which is New York City. I saw the diversity in the games and in the game genre. It's not just like like you know electronic video games, you know stuff playing on the television. I saw board games. I saw uh, you know people out there making cardboard for labos and yes, stuff like that. Yeah. I mm -hmm. saw virtual reality stuff. It's it's it was so diverse. It was so so intrinsically New York. Like yes. you you is. It felt like you was going to the Bronx and then you was going to Brooklyn and you was going to Queens and you was going to Staten Island. <laughs> yeah. Right. And, and you, you had different things like the back scratch game was over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, all the back scratch, my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> so he loved that. It's, it, it's, it's, it's little games that if if you if you can't make it to this place, you, I think you're really missing out on the essence of what it means to be like yeah. boots on the ground ground level stuff like uh what what's shark the um the sharknado uh not sharknado um oh you mean our boy, our boy. Uh, swim yeah. sanity swim sanity. Sanity. sanity yeah 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 we yeah. met swim sanity at ease you. at pax no remember it was no PAX it first. was through pax but but they we, they we, by the time no, they got to play nyc it was a like, different energy it, it was like they had the entire like yeah. area to themselves and yeah. those fins such, walking all around oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah, amazing yeah. it was a different energy yeah. like yeah. we because we, we, mm -hmm. we first met him in packs and we mm -hmm. went through it and it was getting their teeth together or whatever but we we kept an eye on it but when we got to play and what it was it a was different a... energy yeah you yeah. know yeah. And, and and i think it gives that mm -hmm. light to the developer that they have this energy I, Please, I had on virtual reality glasses. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh remember that? Yes. I forgot about that. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It's, it's just so much great stuff that was there that we can go into. But I just wanted to harken in on the diversity yeah. of, of mm -hmm. just different flavor. It just it's just really eclectic, really fun stuff that was going on. There. It was beautiful. If, stuff if, if you guys want to see like pure unadulterated fun, yes. look at look at our video of Kung Fu Kick. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. A NYC. Yes. They'll, they'll be back this year too. Whale yeah. Fool. Oh. Shout out to was it uh Jonah? Jonah. Jonah. Yeah. Jonah. yeah yep. Shout out to Jonah. You know, that game was so amazing. So much fun. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It, it just like King said that in that small space there was such a variety of games that honestly like sometimes when you go like a pax there's there's a lot a lot of games but you, yeah. a lot can get lost in the shuffle because you can't really address everything here yeah. it was intimate and everything there was so unique i don't think there were really too many games that really resembled one another Yo, it was, was, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah yeah man I, I that was so great that was so great no doubt no doubt so again just want to follow up on that initial question again about how difficult it is to get a game and how the struggles, you know what I'm saying, and these services and these dope things that you're providing, you know, with Playcrafting. But I want to follow up because recently the big thing and, and Addict is, will know where I'm going with this, kind of 
kind of came out in the indie indie game uh, community. And shout out to uh, Lian, you know, mm-hmm. good friend of the realm. You know, originally he was uh, a called another indie. Um, now he's an indica- independent game uh, publisher, Neon Doctrine. And he, he, he put like a long Twitter thread. I don't know if you get a chance to saw this, um, Dan. Basically, you know, talking about his frustration with independent game visibility, discounting on the, on his mm-hmm. game, yeah. communication with um, transparency on, you know, he called it Platform X, but we all know it was the Sony storefront. And I just wanted to get your thought process on that thread and it seemed to get a lot of traction in the independent game community. A lot of developers were speaking up saying they had similar situations mm-hmm. and, and not being able to get visibility and discounting and, and the cost and, and all this other stuff. So, you know, what what are your thought process when you see threads like that with maybe some frustration from independent game developers? Yeah, I think there's a, there's a lot of... Um almost like predatory behavior that can happen with like certain smaller publishers and folks that are sort of positioning themselves as being in the best interest of the independent developer, but really are not. And so, you know, it's, it's always heartbreaking for me to hear about because a lot of times, especially in the independent game development area, when folks are getting started or they're putting out their first or second title, um, mm-hmm. they don't really know what to look out for. Right. And so they'll, you know, they'll come across someone who says, I will help get you published onto these stores, mm-hmm. um, but they won't be totally transparent around, you know, what some of the practices are on those storefronts or, mm-hmm. or we'll have sort of like a, a revenue share sort of model in place that mm-hmm. is definitely weighed against the actual developer right um and so a lot of devs will come in and and will not know that that's not (laughs) that's not best practice that's not in their best interest um and and i think that really educating uh yourself is is probably the the best way to to go before you go into any of those those scenarios what we see a lot at playcrafting is that game developers themselves we when we use the word game developer, we're talking programmer, artist, musician, um, designer, like anyone who contributes to the actual build out of the game. We're not talking about like marketer, you know, we're not talking about like a pure business person. Mm -hmm. Um, And there can be really like a a divide between those two types of folks in the world of games. And a lot of times with these smaller independent studios, um, you know, it is just a programmer, and an artist and they don't have like a pure business person because it's just getting off the ground. They don't have like, there's not, there's not a proof point there yet. You know what I mean? And so it can be really challenging to sort of navigate that without someone on your side. And so that's where I would direct them to places like playcrafting, the IGDA, um, definitely, you know, look at some best practices through GDC, the game developers conference. There's, Mm -hmm. there's a lot of really great, places to kind of educate yourself as you go in but that is that is a challenge because when you're super passionate and really talented at at building something and you want to get it out there like the it's it's hard to sort of turn that off or dim that a little bit in favor of making sure that your business interests are are advocated for yeah, no, absolutely. Fantastic point. I mean, I, I think you, you, you nailed it as far as um communication transparency as well, as far as trying to, again, because it's one thing to, you know, as far as best practice and doing the correct thing to get the visibility you need. But then there's another thing where you're on a storefront and it's like, no one's responding to me. Like That's kind of scary. Yeah, yeah. like, wh- what do I do? And then you have th- this person has to then go to other, because of his connections with other indie game devs, hey, mm-hmm. are you going through this? Are you experiencing? And they're like, yeah, we're stuck. And we just we just want to discount our game. And we just want to know what the, you know, the vi- what we do with visibility. I'm sorry, Dad, you were about to jump in? I thought somebody was going to jump in. Sorry. No, right, no, it's... Okay. it's- I was going to go into it a little bit more, but you you know, you hit the points on. Okay, okay. I, I just felt that uh, when you are going into a partnership and a lot of these guys are new going into these partnerships, they, they have different expectations. They don't know uh, going through that. Okay. You're going to give you 25 grand or whatever it is. And you think, okay, that's going to be valued because mm-hmm. I, I'm going to be valued. Right. And mm-hmm. that's all they want to be. They want to be valued and heard or given some form of direction on how can my uh, game get uh, seen? Yeah. How do I get a, la- yeah. la- a liaison to uh, help me uh, with this? I uh, have a problem here. Oh, when is the proper time for me to do a discount? Yes. And if you're not being heard 
and the level of frustration starts to ramp up with you had different expectations going in mm -hmm. and then also compounded with the fact that you actually paid your money because yeah and that, then percentage yeah. of the cut on top of it, the money it, yeah that's that's a big thing too yeah. you know dan is telling you put your developer side to the side first and put your business hat on right because mm -hmm. you have to have on your business hat and you have to have on your eyes you have to have your your t's uh uh, uh crossed and your, your eyes dotted mm -hmm. going into these situations and know exactly what your percentage is what is exactly going on on the business end of it because mm -hmm. the frustration part the frustrating part Besides the logistics of getting your game seen, because a lot of times it hits the store and Reach. you don't even know it's there unless yeah. you can search for it. How can you search for something that you don't yeah. know is there? Like you would literally have to, the way Lee and expect, like you would literally have to search for his game. Because again, like King, you're making some fire points. It's the competition on the storefront, yes. right? It's so yeah. large and you have all these bigger games. And, you know, Attic, you, you know, I mean, you, you know Liam personally, you're the one that kind of, introduced us i remember being at our first packs and and meeting him and you really mm -hmm. taking a light liking to his games at the time he was another indie you know we felt those games punched about his weight punch above their weight so like attic like what do you think in reference to that whole fighting for visibility thing i think when it comes down to it it's like you know it's it's just it's just like dan said you know business and the developer side are totally two different things like Look, at the end of the day, I, I do think Sony, at the very least, needs to hire more people in that department that actually, I, not necessarily, probably, I don't know, maybe those people were temp agents or something. Like, yeah. you know, maybe it, it, it's hard to tell the, the turnaround yeah. that's in that company that probably didn't, wasn't trained properly. Because, like, yeah. something has to be wrong that, you know, mm -hmm. you that can multiple put the money, devs. you can, yeah, you, same, you can same, put same. the money aside, but something had to be wrong where, how do you not know your own process? Like, right. like, and that's the issue I had. It's not, it wasn't the money. It wasn't anything. It's like, you're there to help people. Yes. And I feel like if you're not helping people, what are you doing? Are you just yeah. answering phones, diverting the conversation? Cause like when I worked at, I, I used to work at a call center, like mm -hmm. the pro like that, what they would call that is like, uh, they would call that, uh, shorting your callback like mm -hmm. you have to if you if you do it right the first time sony mm -hmm. guess what they don't call back <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. but i think it's mm -hmm. multiple broken links in this chain right right and it's uh the communication part uh maybe it's a staffing part like yeah. attic you know alluded to but ultimately it's how do you know the process to get into the carousel for your game to be seen? Right. The visibility part. That's mm -hmm. the that's the biggest part for any type of developer. Mm -hmm. The visibility right. part, because like I said, when, when you turn on your Xbox, you turn on your PlayStation, you turn on your Switch, and you go to the store. Right. Nine times out of ten, you're looking at the big stuff that that's, that you know it's there. Right. right. And if something happens to pop up on the ad down at the bottom, you go, hmm, mm -hmm. what's that? What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. did he get there? Right, right, right. How can my game get to, to where he's at? So, mm -hmm. hmm, what's that? Can happen to millions of people that mm -hmm. happen to turn on their, their, their console. Right. And the frustrating part is they don't have an answer. Right. to how your stuff get into the carousel right. to right. be seen yeah. and no. that's the that's the biggest problem the communication with the developer on getting that part done yeah no absolutely absolutely this is a good discussion and, and again we, we appreciate you know what dan is doing with play crafting because oh, yes. you know this education and and having that network and building that independent game community right you know to to learn you know i guess I guess you could tell us then, like, you know, is it more of a collection of, of thoughts and ideas between the devs and saying, hey, these are our experiences. These are some things you can do. Like, you know, do you guys comment and work with the devs in that particular fashion when they're having these frustrations? Yeah, I, I think we really handle it on like a case by case basis for mm -hmm. us in terms of like what we're doing on a regular basis. Um, the work that I mentioned, we we do with, with the NFL, Verizon, yes. Bose, um, Niantic is is a really awesome oh, partner. We just started working on? with. Oh, 
the Pokemon Go folks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I think a, a big part of what we do in that process and something I love about it is that like there are so many great ways where these larger companies and smaller companies can work together mm. so that both of their interests are being met, Huge. their goals are being met, and both are being are succeeding. And so that's where with a company like Verizon or Bose or NFL or Niantic, we Huge. are sort of like that intermediary throughout the process. And so um, we address things like if there's a, a concern about the contract, if there's mm -hmm. a, um, a, a concern on like the business side of things, mm -hmm. We are working with developers all throughout that process to make sure that you know they're being properly paid, they're being mm. um, their their needs are being met, that the the brand and the partner that we have in place um, that their goals are being met because these are like two puzzle pieces that sometimes don't fit together <laughs> but really should fit well together because when they fit well together. New games are generated that otherwise wouldn't have been before. Right. Uh, players and fans get to try out new things and new technologies that they wouldn't have before. So mm -hmm. it's just there's such a, a great win-win uh, scenario there when, mm -hmm. in our case, we are like the the intermediary between the two, and we're able to make sure that both are being are are, are you know being addressed and being helped along the process. Nice, mm -hmm. nice, good stuff, good stuff, good to hear. And like I said, it's a great resource for the independent game scene. But I want to transition forward on um, that play NYC, man. You know, returning, yeah. returning in a physical form. You know, obviously the Lords were there in 2019. We had an absolute ball. You know what I mean? And uh, for those who kind of want info on the event and what to expect from um, Play NYC 2021, like, you know, for us, that's the first because like what to expect. And then the second part is like, what experiences did you learn from the all virtual event the prior year coming into this one? Yeah, so um, let's start with the the second question. Yes. So, um, twenty twenty, obviously, you know, we were completely virtual, and mm. um, we we had the venue all set. We already announced Play NYC twenty twenty, <laughs> um, but it did. We had to do a, a virtual thing. There was just no way in which we were mm. doing nothing throughout twenty twenty. And I think mm. that like there were really two things that really stuck out. Number one was that the virtual component allowed us to have developers and games from around the world represented mm. who may mm. not necessarily be able to make it to yeah. New York specifically. Um, we also had it completely free to attend and also to exhibit uh, mm. last year. So that also sort of lowered the barrier for entry. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other piece on in 2020 that we really grew out was our graffiti games initiative, where mm. we commissioned developers from underrepresented communities to make games that debut oh, at the show. And so fire. that was at the yeah that was at the height of the George Floyd protests and everything yes. last summer. Mm -hmm. And so last year we focused on amplifying the voices of Black developers and really leaned mm. into it. Nice. And it was really a like a standout piece of play nyc um graffiti games always is but mm -hmm. particularly last year and i think that like as we're now in 2021 mm -hmm. um you know given that it was all virtual and that we did have it free to uh, attend even for exhibitors mm -hmm. we put some things into place so that uh even more developers can participate this year so mm -hmm. we have like a needs-based application on our site for developers that may not be able to afford an exhibitor spot and right. so mm. larger companies have bought out like like smaller booths that are basically sponsoring smaller companies and oh, local developers oh, to show. Huge. Yeah, that's yeah. wonderful. So that was one lesson learned, I think, that mm -hmm. that, that translated really well. Um, we really use that opportunity to to um, like just enhance and, and enliven our stream mm -hmm. because we did have a stream all throughout last yes, year's. And so yes. this year's stream is going to be higher production. Woo, um, we step, we stepping up. We're stepping up okay. in a lot of ways when it comes to the stream because mm -hmm. um, a lot of people can't make it out to the show. And so our stream is on a stage in the middle of the show floor for a reason. We want it to feel mm -hmm. integrated into the overall experience for people that are there, nice. but also for people that can't be there to feel like they are integrated into the show floor itself, too. And so. Nice. 
that was another lesson. Um, mm -hmm. And then because of graffiti games last year, just being such a such a powerful moment, mm -hmm. we've built it out even more. It's now an annualized program. Oh, nice. um, we've had Rockstar Games join us oh, as wow. sponsor, which is really cool. Oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a flex, sir. We're going to let you just sh <laughs> dance past <laughs> that. Rockstar is in the building, y'all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so they've, they've been really great to work with on the graffiti game side of things. Mm -hmm. um, and we've turned it into more of an annualized program. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of what to expect, you know, this is... I, I said before, this is the first time that a lot of people will be at a gaming convention yes, together yes. in a long time. And with that comes a lot of excitement and responsibility at mm -hmm. the same time. And yeah. so it, it felt like this was not the year to try some like off the wall, crazy, <laughs> stuff, you know, yeah. this was the year to take what worked really well in 2019, which was our biggest, most successful one yes, yet. Love 2019. And, and, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and do that again, but obviously with all the, the COVID requirements and safety precautions yes. put that, into place. Mm -hmm. yeah. On that, uh, so how, do, how does one uh, get into <laughs> Play and Why? I, I really need to know, uh, because I already know what I have to do this week. I have to go get chipped. So, uh, <laughs> 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 I have to be able to track you with the CIA. I, 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 I need to go get to my internal GPS. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> so, uh, the question is, you know, all joking aside, though, but uh, what, what do people need to have in place in order to uh, gain entry, mm -hmm. like, you know, yeah. to play and watch? Yeah, so we're like straight up, we're requiring vaccination for mm -hmm. everyone that's there. So if you're um, staffing the event, showing at the event, you're a press person or a general attendee, vaccination is required. Mm -hmm. um, the one exception we're making is for uh, children under 12, in which we're right. accepting um, proof of COVID negative, uh, like a negative test result from the previous 48 hours. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. um, that's you, you all were there before. So yeah. it's not like a children's event, but we wanted yeah. to make sure that, right. um, you know, the, the few parents that do bring their kids can can do so again, but mm -hmm. safely. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's really the main thing. Um, mm -hmm. You need to provide proof of full vaccination and a mm -hmm. photo ID okay. um, at the entrance. Um, okay. And then that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. We've done mm -hmm. a lot of other things to make sure that, you know, inside the venue, folks are comfortable mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we want to assume here that, you know, many people, even though they're fully vaccinated, mm -hmm. may not want to be like completely shoulder to shoulder <laughs> with a bunch of strangers. Yeah. Fair, yeah. Fair, fair. So, so we've done a bunch of stuff to make sure that the, um, like the walkways are much wider than they even were in 2019. Mm -hmm. We opened up another exit so that people can walk out and, and in a couple of different ways. Oh, um, oh nice. Yeah, so so I think all that stuff was was probably like like mm -hmm. the first month of planning. That yeah. was where we were really um, ironing all those things out. Ironing. So <laughs> <laughs> um, I like that. Yeah, I like that Lloyd's reference. Yeah, continue, yeah. Continue those are bars. Those are bars. Yeah. <laughs> but once once we did that, you know. I, I, we made the announcement, I think, in late April that it was going to be live and in person again. Yeah. Yeah. And that was before we started talking to um, fans and players that would want to be there, exhibitors that would want to be there, mm -hmm. so developers who want to show their games. Mm -hmm. When we first announced it, it was like, okay, things are going in the right direction. Right. The regulations are falling into place. Let's do this. But I was still obviously like, okay, is mm -hmm. everybody going to be super right. nervous and not want to do anything for right. a few months? Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't until I and the rest of the team started talking to developers looking to show their games that it was really confirmed that, that it's it's the right time to come nice. back. Because now yeah. we have, I think, over 60 games or so that are, mm -hmm. are confirmed for the, the show floor Ooh, so far. That's nice. Yeah, and folks are really, really excited to get their games in, mm -hmm. in the hands of players and, and, and fans are excited to, mm -hmm. to come through and, and play so mm -hmm. once those conversations started happening i i knew it was going to be nice. it was the right decision nice. yeah. yeah i just want to follow up on king's uh point because you know in reference to you know obviously the pandemic and you know again shout out to to you guys you know just taking that responsible stance on it you know and correct me if i'm wrong like that you you will be play nyc will be the first gaming convention opened physical in-person event during the pandemic correct mm -hmm. i I think in North America. Yeah, North yep. America. Yeah, you yeah. guys are the first. So, yep. you know, again, salute to you guys taking the responsibility, making the requirements and stuff like that. Now, in contrast, again, I don't want to throw 
Pax under the bus. Obviously, we have a lot of great relationships with Pax. Pax East, the, the Lords made their bones at Pax East. But I, we did see, you know, initially they said it was West was returning, but we didn't necessarily see the COVID vaccination requirement. And there seems to be a lot of conflict there. People who were once saying that they were going to go, now they're saying they might not go as a result, you know, and What's your thought process as we try to get back to the new normal, you know, with with this whole, you know, some may do it and some may not do it, you know, in reference to the vaccination requirement? Yeah, I think that we're really fortunate with Play NYC, Mm -hmm. where, first of all, as everybody knows, New York was the center of the pandemic in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Um, But but just like it was the center of the pandemic in the beginning, it's also kind of been the center of the reopening and having the um, regulations and like the the real guidelines for events to to yeah. come back mm-hmm. and so we've been really fortunate in terms of the location and our hometown being really sort of ahead of the curve when it comes to what it would take to come back yeah. um, and also you know while play nyc is big and awesome and we have a blast with it mm-hmm. it is five thousand people as true. opposed to eighty thousand mm-hmm. plus yeah. people oh, yeah true. Um, and so we're able to make, you know, decisions like very quickly. We're a team of four full timers behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the the process of, of like being able to get the engine up and going and do so safely and, and make sure that we have everybody covered was really easy. Mm-hmm. I'm sure by comparison to like an 80,000 plus show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would say that like. The, the biggest lesson that I learned, and I'm, I've been thinking about it a lot when it comes to PAX, is that mm. in this particular time, you, when you announce your event, like what, what really matters is like where people's heads are at at the time yes. of announcement and right. not when it's happening. Right. You know what right. I mean? Good because point. this this whole year and a half during the pandemic has really forced everybody for a lot of reasons to take things one day at a time, one step at a time. Mm-hmm. Like there was there was no way to travel anywhere for a long yes. time. There was yeah. no way to go to anything for a long time. Mm-hmm. So it's hard for folks to make a decision about going to something two, three months from now Good point. with no vaccination requirement. Right. Hey, we might have, we might be at like 25 events between now and then and feel like okay, like I'm, I'm ready for that kind of thing. Yeah. But you have to kind of make the announcement and set those regulations based, our, based on where people are at exactly right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and that's where I think some of that disconnect is, is coming into play. Got you. Yeah, it, it, was, it was a touch and go subject for uh, Cog and I mm-hmm. because he understood how adverse I was to <laughs> being vaccinated, to being, mm-hmm. you know, chipped. Um, <laughs> and, and, uh, and I mean, it, it was it was a point of contention because you know we had those conversations in my household, mm-hmm. and uh, it boiled down to uh, how I feel about what we're doing at Iron Lords mm-hmm. LLC. Mm-hmm. Um, it it boiled down to uh, how I feel about the community. Uh, what my my vision for what we do and 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 not not elevating out my thoughts and what we are i believe that we're important and i believe we're important for one reason i don't believe there's anybody that works harder than us on the floor talking to devs getting their voice out (laughs) I don't believe so. And I believe if we are not present doing that, then we are taking that voice away from the public. Mm-hmm. And that is when I made my decision to, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm I, I, I have to, and I have to be present. I have to show up <laughs> and uh, I have to be accountable. And at some point in time, you have to say to yourself, uh, if it's uh, for the benefit of the group, Mm-hmm. And when I say the group, I mean the herd. I mean everyone who's at Play NYC, right. you know, because everybody at Play NYC has made this choice True. Uh, to be there for the benefit of everyone else. It's each man, teach one, each one. The next person mm. is responsible for the next person that's standing next to them. Mm-hmm. And maybe you don't want to be this close and you know you have that proximity space or whatever because you're just getting back to that norm because we're used to social distancing now right but you can go into that place with a clear mind knowing that that person went through the same eternal struggle Mm. 
kid by going to get vaccinated and he's making he or she is making that same commitment that you did by being there so uh that's when i was like it's a no-brainer it's absolute respect going through i couldn't wait for this show in particular to tell you that i respect you that much i respect what you're doing that much that you know i feel that yes i am with you standing hand by hand side by side in this journey going in i know that decision to say we're going to be vaccinated and people mm-hmm. might have a, a, opposing opinions to that, but mm-hmm. you had to stand firm in your mm-hmm. beliefs and keeping people safe. And I think that meant more than anything else. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Sal, you just consider? No, no, me, because, you know, my initial reaction when when you first put into our uh, our chat that Play on is coming back. My initial reaction was like, no, nah, I'm good till next year. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, I, yeah, and, yeah. Oh, and I'm vaccinated from from like from, from the beginning, you were the first. Yeah. Kind of yeah. yeah. So, um, but hearing Dan talk now, I think see, I, I didn't know what I, I had no idea what you know what the protocols would be or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Hearing what you're doing and what you're requiring at the door is is heartening. And like King said, it, it you're doing everything in your power to make sure that you're not bringing this event back to to an empty like you know a hollow empty room. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's amazing because again, the, the thing, the issue that I have is that as soon as regulations sort of, sort of started to sort of soften a little bit, mm-hmm. the problem is that oftentimes, obviously, if you're a person that's vaccinated and you go into all this trouble and you go into this, this trial and tribulation of do I, do I not, um, you want to be able to have that moment where you can take your mask off and say, hey, I feel comfortable, I feel safe. Mm-hmm. The problem is that oftentimes people who are either A, irresponsible about mm-hmm. their health and other people's health. Or people who, again, like, like King had reservations about doing it for whatever reason, say, mm-hmm. hey, everyone else is doing it. Here I am. Like, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm like, so it, it, it's a lack of trust in other people's, uh, uh, you mm. know, ability to do the right thing. Right? Yeah. But again, I think what you're doing is great. And uh, I will be there. Oh, yeah. we got awesome. the announcement. King, did I, you hear this? I, I, I will yes, be there. Sir. Amazing. Oh, I, I appreciate this. And, and, and it's not because Keaton shamed me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this no. is good. I know I get this off on my side kick. Oh, okay. I'm so glad to hear that. Up. Come stay, come stay in, uh, in New York. Yeah. So we, yeah, so we have. <laughs> you know again, he wasn't going to miss the back scratcher. I don't know <laughs> what to say. Part, part good. <laughs> back scratch, part good. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah. it's dope. No doubt. Yeah, it's, uh, we okay. got creep. Hold on, creeper Evox in the chat. of Savas that came out. Yeah, I'm burnt up, man. I'm crispy as you all. See por- him, right? as all <laughs> yeah, that, be. that Puerto Rican yeah. trip, man. No, you know, no. He, he didn't bring a parakeet back with him. <laughs> no, no, no. I- <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my wife just bent over laughing when I told her that the parakeet made an appearance on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had an IOP exclusive yeah. for a guest. <laughs> the, par- right the parakeet was not feeling the treatment of indie devs by PlayStation. <laughs> made, made it known. <laughs> Yo, they said Perico. Perico. <laughs> he, he, was, he was working on his game too. He said, they doing what? <laughs> anyway. But back, back on focus, great, great discussion in reference to the, you know, the pandemic, stuff like that. But I want to, I want to get back to play LNC for one more thing. I just wanted to um I'm looking at that confirmed list, Lord Dan. And um mm-hmm. you got you got our good friends from Boston, uh Deco- Decoy Games. Shout out to us a Khalid Ahmed Chris. Yep. You know, yes. say you got the hometown whale food games, that kung fu mm-hmm. kickball. Shout out to Ooh. Jonah. You know what yep. I'm saying? And more recently, I got I gotta I gotta salute you on this one. Um Avalanche Studios. Yeah. So yeah, recently had the uh, the big announcement on the uh, Microsoft Bethesda E3 stage. I know they they showcased the uh, contraband, but they've got tremendous lineage. Was it Just Cause and That's other, right. Cause, other games? Uh, so Mad Max. Mad yeah. Max. Yeah. So tell us about that. What other partners or studios can we expect? <laughs> but yeah, that, that was a big flex there. What's going on? Yeah. Well, that's that's again where the real like hometown thing comes into play because Avalanche has been with us, I think since the beginning Mm -hmm. and they love making sure that like they are there to showcase that New York has a vibrant community and network of game developers and studios. And so it would have felt like something was missing if, if Avalanche wasn't back with us this year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you forget they had that, 
Like when you get the to the kiosk, middle of the yeah, room, yeah, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, it's forgot. right when you yeah. walk in. It's almost right when you, you know walk what it, in. it was. Was it was it more in the center? It was more in the center. That's like, why, yeah, yeah, you yeah. walk it's you straight down and behind the uh the the, the ear thing, the the VR ear thing. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And motors, then, yeah. right. It, how, but how close a proximity was it towards? Because I remember EA, yeah, like a Red Bull EA thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was right across from the from yeah. the Red Bull. Right, 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 right. I drank so many Red Bull. Salute. What's so cool about Player YC, like we said. We, we're discussing this right we remember like you've got the you, all these you know big guys you got the smaller developers around you got the independent mm-hmm. scene you got the tabletop you, yeah. you know, like yeah. it's it's new york city coming together and what i like it doesn't matter if you're big or you're small they're like literally side by side in that yeah. space love what you're doing on that setup brother yeah really, really cool and I, I feel like like something I love about playing NYC, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of times, even as gamers and as fans, we kind of fall into our own little sort of silos and our own little boxes. So you'll yeah. have mm-hmm. like your your like frat boy, <laughs> like FIFA mm-hmm. fan, yeah. you know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then you'll have your like your group who likes like more more artistic games. And to me, it's like the, the cool thing about gaming is that there are so many different kinds of games for so many different kinds of people. Mm-hmm. And New York is already such a, a great sort of beacon of diversity and inclusivity yes. as, as a people that mm-hmm. I wanted to make sure that not only is that represented in who's actually attending Play NYC and playing together, right. but the games that are there and p- putting Red Bull right next to Kung Fu <laughs> Kickball. You know what I mean? Yes. Like that That's what's so cool and weird and random about mm-hmm. gaming as a whole. It's not just one thing anymore right. um and so i'm excited to sort of see the 2021 version of that come back again this year because that's really you know it, it's the uniting power of mm-hmm. video games and playing together that i think is so special and being able to have play nyc as sort of like a representation of that even on the physical show floor is really mm-hmm. important yeah no absolutely I, I was really shocked at how many virtual reality options that you had there you had to be honest you had a little bit more virtual reality options than some of the bigger guys Mm. i and i was like wow he actually took a slice out because i mean that stuff means a lot to me uh so when and it was it was so diverse like okay so those those glasses because the the, The bose ones yeah yeah, the bose glasses that stuff was so unique that i didn't see it no place else Mm-hmm. You know, and I was, I was like, yo, we have the, the remember the game that we was playing, and you had to bop your head. You had to <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, head yeah. bop hero, hero. Like, yeah, yeah, head bop hero, head yeah. Bop hero. Go yeah. and watch these videos because these videos are so intense and so great. Because when you find something that you actually love, and you get a chance to talk to the dev about it, and the dev is actually jazzed up too about it, and they're talking about it, and you have that back and forth, and you're getting great content. Um, I just I just found it because it happened in a lot of moments. Mm-hmm. So all yep. I can do is just think back with a lot of fond moments. It really wasn't any dull spots there mm-hmm. as we hit the floor because some spots where you didn't think that you would be like intrigued by it. The cardboard Labo stuff, that's when I knew Labo was for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> At that part, because when he was like playing the piano and stuff like that, you know, you think it's a gimmick on mm-hmm. TV or, or stuff like that or a Nintendo stage situation. Mm-hmm. But this was live in front of me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wasn't staged. It was out in the open and anything could go wrong. And it was like spot on. And I'm like, oh, this Labo thing, I might have to really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get down. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. was really nice stuff. It just. A lot of smile moments, and it's just really nice stuff. Really yeah, nice definitely stuff. one of our highlights. You know, like I said, absolute pleasure. I got a chance to interview on on the floor. You know, Sav had some great interviews with, like I said, Decoy with uh, Kung Fu, uh, being high playing and, and getting rambunctious. There were a lot, man. There was so many cool, unique games. We're looking forward to getting back to that. So love that you're pioneering getting back out there in a physical event we the, the lords will be there three deep now you know what I'm saying? yes so, so it'll be cool to see and uh, i just want to wrap up as far as um <laughs> last time you were here um we had our vintage top five mm-hmm. video games of all time so this was ilp 127 and um at the time you said uh 
your five consisted probably of three Zelda games. Yep, that's <laughs> you right. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we, we, we tried to nail that down between, was it uh, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time. You said that three rotates. Just before we get into the rest of the list, uh, yeah. are we still hard and fast with that? those three Zelda games and, the, and, and their ranking and their positionings? Yes. Okay, cool. So now <laughs> the other four, <laughs> he held strong on that. I like how he, he ain't let yeah. go of that sky with so I respect it. Yeah. So um, what I wanted to say is you had four others which were like the, the realm was in love with you. Just want to know if any there were any changes since. And at the time you had Journey. Yeah. WWF No Mercy. Batman Arcane, Arkham City. And Portal. Has that list retained in your top five? I'm going to pull it up right oh, now. So <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Last updated July 9th. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so we, we are retaining that list. All right. Let me see. I let's think see. Let's see. In, in my top 10, it looks mm-hmm. like, all right, one game yeah. cycled out and one game cycled in. Oh, which one? Which one? So Bioshock moved to number 11. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, okay. And a new entry is at number nine, and that's Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Ooh, yes, okay. yes, yes. And yes. it's it's for a very specific reason. Like a lot of these games, I have. Mm-hmm. It's not just I'm not going into it with like a yeah. reviewer mindset. A lot of it is my personal experience with it, and if I have like a specific memory attached to it. Mm-hmm. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, like. Animal Crossing New Horizons, me and my parents, we shared an island all throughout the pandemic. <laughs> yeah. wow. We played it religiously. It was, I will, ne- that is now one of my favorite gaming memories of all mm-hmm. time. Great. And like when they unlocked the, um, uh, like going diving, I remember my mom has not like gone diving like on a beach in mm-hmm. years. And she was just like hearing her so excited to be able to <laughs> go diving yeah. in her like little cartoon swimsuit. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Shut so like, Bob of Butch Cove. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's why Animal Crossing is now so so high. When I'm, if I were to look at this as like a like a pure reviewer standpoint, mm-hmm. it's like it, maybe I'd look at things differently. But my it's my list, and it's about yes. the memories, and yeah. that's why Skyward Sword mm-hmm. is so high up there because that one to one Wii Motion Plus worked spot on for me. Uh-huh. And, was un- unmatched. <laughs> I have not had any experience like that Ooh. since. Addict, uh, you, you hear this, man? There's a lot oh, of... Oh, oh, let me get th- let's get this poll together. And, uh, <laughs> how do I make a poll? How it's it's next to that. I think it's on the, on the bottom to the left, next to this uh, smiley I'll face. Into that for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you going? Are you going to do it? For, make sure Addict does not bias this poll. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the he, option he, will be he, Skyward Sword. Yeah. 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 So, 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 no, what 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 I want for the poll is if we can get uh, let me see how much we have three hundred and seventy people here. Um, mm-hmm. If we can get two hundred and fifty likes, mm-hmm. uh, we can get Attic to play Skyward Sword. Oh, that's what we do. Yes, yes. you trying to you really try to get this bad? Yo, <laughs> I think I think this switch. Is gonna take that one to one ratio to the next level. I'm Agreed. done. I'm done. Yes. Yeah. I'm done with y'all with this. I, I wanna I wanna know how the heptic feedback feels. Yes. With it. If they include any of that stuff with it, mm-hmm. you really don't uh, uh, yo, trust me when I tell you, I'm so happy that I didn't buy a standstill. I'm so happy <laughs> the light that, that I have the, the light. original <laughs> switch with the original joint cons too. Yes. And I got two that's brand new in the box, so mm-hmm. I don't have any drifting. Mm-hmm. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I cannot Wait uh-huh. the 16th for to get this game. No, no. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Me neither. No doubt. Good. I'm going to digitally buy it. And oh, I'm you going to digitally buy it? Oh, I'm okay. Physical. I'm so, doing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I might love. do the same. I fully support that. Yeah. So y'all doing yeah. the physical? I'm doing physical both. and digital. Yeah, okay. What about, isn't there like special joy cons and yes. there's like a whole yeah. bunch of updates and stuff with this with, uh, so y'all, y'all doing it. Oh, King, are you doing the Amiibo, sir? Oh, of course. What Hell you yeah. About? Yeah. You know that they have, okay. So this is controversy. <laughs> we literally transitioned it. right into it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 The controversy behind it is they said that the, like, there's a, tra- a traversal in the game that is locked behind the amiibo. If you don't have this amiibo, you can't do a certain traversal oh, in the game. Yeah. And I don't care. 
Same. It's, I don't care either. It's just fast. It's fast travel, right? Yeah, so yeah it's, it's right. a quality of life thing. So oh so, my so, lord! So if you don't want the quality of your life, <laughs> then, then don't get the amiibo. It's, so, like, so, 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 so. it's your we, choice. Are we paying for upgrades to the game? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But see, I get, are we? I, 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 I get are we implying that it's a you problem? It's a you problem. Yes. This is Gucci ankle stuff. Yeah. it. Yeah. I went ahead and made your poll, but it's not your poll. It's my poll. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> pause. Pause. <laughs> it, 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 go, go ahead and vote on what's the best Zelda game in the chat. Mm. Oh, that's not the poll. Yo, that's not the poll. <laughs> Yo, this, <laughs> poll is this man <laughs> literally <laughs> put what's the best <laughs> narrative? In? What's the best Zelda game? Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess, Breath of the Wild. There's no Skyward <laughs> Sword <laughs> mention. He got Breath of the Wild twice. <laughs> report this poll. Report the poll. Oh please. my God! I, 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 will, I will fix it. Yes. Hey, clearly, yes. clearly, somebody agrees with us if they're promoting Breath of the Wild two with yes. people dropping out of the sky. Yes. I mean, Yay. there's we're not alone. Nintendo, yes. I think, agrees with us, and they're like, wait a minute. Skyward Sword was so much better than people gave it credit, credit for. for. We're going to yeah. re-release it, yeah. and we're going to make a huge Sky component in Breath of the Wild 2. It's That's interesting. Right. Like, all jokes aside, because I've never played the game, never seen the game. And it's interesting because I didn't know Skyward Sword kind of brought a lot of those mechanics that Breath mm -hmm. of the Wild uses, like the gliding and different yeah. other stuff. So it will be interesting to see. You know, I, For me, I'll be honest, where y'all got me, where I, I am going to pick it up, is I'm a big Master Sword guy. So when Attic told me Yo, that's the yeah. history of this like is, the master. This is the sword. beginning of of, of the yeah. timeline. Yeah, right? like I I I like that. I do want to know what's going on with that, and um, obviously the control, motion control stuff. But but Sob, is it is it optional? Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Is there some? Can oh, you no. not I, play? I, with I will the be playing motion? with my. I will be playing with my plural controller. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can you can literally yeah. play it without it. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Because all right. Okay. So this is the thing. Is mm. this is where um. Nintendo had pigeoned themselves into a hole okay. by making a standstill. Oh, the light. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah. it, it, the reason why I call it a standstill, because the, the whole thought concept behind the Switch was you can switch from playing it docked. You can switch mm -hmm. from playing it uh, portable. You yeah. can switch from playing with your controller on mm -hmm. locked onto the screen. You can snap them off and switch into playing into dual mode. You mm -hmm. can switch by having your friends. So the whole concept behind Switch was switching your game style to fit gotcha. your needs at the moment so when they made the standstill <laughs> you literally took away what made a switch a switch you can't call it switch anymore yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. i'll so, feel that I'll but feel um mm -hmm. the, to get the purest out of it i mm -hmm. think they're going because it, it was one to one it was i think that was the first time I actually got a video game because you had the nunchuck and you was able to do the shield here and the sword yeah. here mm -hmm. and I just it just felt so liberating because I always wanted to do that in a Zelda game. Mm -hmm. From the moment I did play uh, a Link to the Past uh, or, or, or or any type of uh, Zelda game, even on my Game Boy, mm -hmm. I always wanted to be able to swing that sword or yeah. use the shield to block. And you can move it up and down to block high, block mid, and block low. It was a lot of thought that went into it. And I didn't think it got its recognition, but I really loved it. And the fact that Nintendo recognized what me and Dan both feels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, <keep laughs> we're, we're trailblazers, clearly. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just what it real quickly did. Well, I, mean, Good I, at I it. mean, to be honest, it's been like, it feels like 15 years and they still haven't made a Metro collection. Like, you know, so <laughs> yeah. you can't sit here and act like the Tittle makes the greatest decisions in the world. <laughs> uh, we, can't sit, we can't sit here and do nothing all year long but look down on what Nintendo does in terms of its fan base. And then the one time it's, it, it fits your narrative to act like they make all the best. <laughs> whoa, 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 they, oh, definition of a fanboy. I'm, I'm, I'm unapologetic about unapologetic it. Unapologetic fanboy. <laughs> we, we're going to put a real poll up there to get Addict to play this game. Addict's not. 250 <laughs> likes. Uh, because, you know, off. The, the, the community votes for us to do things like the community voted for me to get a tattoo on my chest and the, and the community voted so, for so, me so, to have so, a hot chip challenge. So, so, the, so, so we gonna act like the Patreon didn't do nothing about that. Oh no, right? the Patreon did. They, they voted. They voted. They definitely got me there. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I do want to point, I, you yes. know, that there is that that mm -hmm. that poll is in the chat. So definitely go. Oh, there's uh, a new poll now. Let's see now, how hell, biased the, it is. 
to, to hell with that pole. Um, that there's pole still is not oh, Skyward That's, Sword yeah. is there. Okay, okay, yeah, he did. Okay. It's there, but it's not exactly. Oh, okay, the pole okay. <laughs> it needs to be the first option. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> to get the visual. Okay, I see what yeah. you're saying. No doubt, but no see, doubt. Now, now we have like a visual representation of how idiots you guys. Oh are. my! Stop. Oh my god! <laughs> Ridiculous. But, 19. percent Okay, first off, I'm a little upset that Skyward Sword's over Twilight Princess, but it is what it is, man. Mm, Breath of the Wild crazy. and Ocarina of Time are beating the, uh, Skyward Sword. Okay, well, we're not looking for what is the best Zelda that's subject to mm-hmm. like what period you were born in. Mm-hmm. Uh, but again, we are looking for you to play the game. I'm not exactly. playing <laughs> Anyway. Well, you're afraid? Hold on. No, no. We, we're going to address this. Oh, are Lord. you afraid that you might play it and actually might like it? <laughs> imagine. Imagine. <laughs> imagine if he come away and say, you know what? Live on stream. Yeah, he's like, so so <laughs> I can the attic doing that, though. There's a part of me that can see it played and enjoy it. Yeah, I'd rather, yeah. I'd rather take uh, uh, toothpicks to my eyeball. Oh my okay, god! So, so, so let's say, let's say, let's say. I, how about I dare you? Oh, like, like, like what, what can I do? Are we doing a bend knee? We, we, we in the third grade? We like, doing a bend knee? Some, some, some people take dares very seriously. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's your trigger to get you to play this game. But <laughs> no, he gonna play it. He said he gonna play it. No, he said okay. he gonna play it. No, he gonna play it. We gonna play it. The, the Lords oh. will make that happen. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so we, we, yeah, he gonna play. No, no, no. He's playing afterwards. it. He did yeah. say that. He gave me his his, his words. Like, yo, I'll, I'll play oh, it. It's all you. good because he said he can't talk reckless the way he been talking, and mm-hmm. especially there's been so <laughs> long since he did play it. You know, the mm-hmm. memories and stuff like that, and, and, and a new oh, coat of paint, okay. right, Lord Dan? Like, we gotta there see. We it, go. it, it might take me a couple of years, but it'll get played. No, it's, it's <laughs> gonna get played. Don't worry about that, Dan. I I really had hope. Because I really hope that we'd have been on the show today and we'd have had our Zeldas in our hands. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, I, know. I was like, man. I know. I know. I know. Scheduling. Got, yeah, Trust me. Man. I try to put it as close to the yeah. release. Trust me. <laughs> Even Dave, he's like, oh, good. It's one week. The, the week of I release. Say, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he literally said, real quickly, oh, Lord, Dad, I forgot to ask you this. Last time you were here, we didn't do um, favorite console of all time. Oh, easy. GameCube. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Wow, let's talk about it. 150% GameCube. Yeah. Mm. I mm. I think I um so when GameCube came out that was 2001. Mm-hmm. I was 16 mm-hmm. and it was the first it was the first console that I like followed all the way up until release, got it on release day, bought mm. it with my money. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like I felt mm-hmm. ownership over it. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. I there were just so many great games on there and i think a big part of it was because gamecube was like where switch was at the beginning where it was like nintendo with its back against the wall yeah. and so they were doing more like weird outside the box things so mm-hmm. that's that's where you got metroid prime in there mm-hmm. you got wind waker mm-hmm. eternal darkness, darkness which needs yeah. to come the, back oh my god one, yeah that's the one that i wish i could have fit in that pose is wind waker like, yeah that was a and great I, Zelda. I went real deep on like B sides and deep cuts when it came to that system. Like, <laughs> yeah, there was yeah. a game called Cubivore, if okay. you remember yep. it. Yeah, I really Cubivore. enjoyed a game. It was called Gotcha Force on that. I really, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. GameCube love attic is perked up. Super <laughs> Monkey Ball Two. Oh, oh my god, yeah. all time. Which yeah. is I was coming in back. college. That's gonna be so fun. Yeah, yeah, I was in college, and that was one of those games where I played it for so many hours on end that I would go to sleep and I would close my eyes and I would go through the entire. Like every wow. course in my brain, because oh, I knew exactly like what what you had to avoid, what the exact route was on the path to Ooh. win every time. Uh, yeah. Salute. Yeah. And it had a handle on it. Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> it like a little lunch pail. Yeah. yeah. It was purple, had a handle, wasn't trying to be like anything but like a, a uh-huh. video game console. Yep. You yeah. those, know? those smaller discs. I remember it. I remember yeah. Squadron. Those little baby discs. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Rogue, yeah. Rogue Squadron. Rogue Squadron. Oh, so good. Yeah. No doubt, man. Tremendous list. Oh, man. We could talk gaming forever. Let's get into these topics. But what I'm going to do, Soft, I'll get. I don't the... want to point out that. Um, mm-hmm. you know, it's a really important thing that I feel like needs to be brought up. What's up? Is uh, Ocarina of Time is still winning this poll. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you for the play by play up to date poll. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Just wanted man. to make sure that we were clear. Uh, it got to yeah. have people know who, who, 
<laughs> who the boss is. Who the boss is. Oh, okay. Who the leader Zelda is. Okay, okay. Until after you play it, you let me know. <laughs> he going to say, you know something? He going to hit me at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yo, King, you was right. And just hang up the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't I'm say a, nothing. I, I, I'm, I'm going to hit you at 3 o'clock in the morning. Be like, you know anyone that wants to buy Skyward Sword? Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, Un just, unopened. Un <laughs> unopened, yeah. <laughs> Tell him. Time. Anyway, let's get into this poll that we got a topic that I definitely want to get uh, that, that, that in. So last week, poll results are in, and the people have spoken with the recent announcement of Ghost of Tsushima's director's cut adding a brand new island to explore and multiple PS5-specific updates. Do you have any issue with the way it is financially being handled as an upgrade? The winner at 55%, well, actually, it wasn't. I got the percentages mm. wrong. That These are actually incorrect, so I'm just going to say the winner in place. The winner of the vote was, yes, they are charging for basic fixes, haptic feedback, and upscale. <laughs> when other platforms offer these things for free. Coming in at second place was the Messy Lords. I don't care. It's all fun and games until Big Ghost drops in August. <laughs> then we're going to see if you gamers are going to hold the line. <laughs> and in last place was I Have No Issue. It's essentially an ultimate edition with multiple new features group. So uh, shout out to all the lords who participated in last week's poll. Lord Attic, you were very passionate about this subject last week. Uh, you seem to be victorious in the poll. Your people have agreed. I mean, you. Obviously. <laughs> I knew the moment the poll went up, I was winning. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. We're going to get into a song. If you can do it, fair, we got a lot of Super Chat. Let's catch up with the Super Chat. Then we'll jump into that uh, Switch OLED. Topic. I'm going I'm to change that poll here in a couple minutes. No doubt. If you can get those Super Chats ready. Uh, we got uh, a Septima once again with the $50 Super Chat. Thank you so oh, much, wow, sir. Thank you. Salutations to the Lords. Just got my Series X and college acceptance at the same day. Nice. I couldn't be more excited. Keep up the top tier content. Have a good one and God bless. Congratulations, yes. sir. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. no Amazing. Nice. No doubt. Then we have Antoine Williams, two dollars super chat. Take out money. Would you take that space flight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you no. take out take out the money issue. Would you take a space flight? No. Nah, oh, man. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm, cool. I'm good. Cool. I don't even like airplanes that much. Yeah, man. <laughs> Me into space, what? For what? For thrills? Yeah. Uh, cool. uh -huh. yeah, I'm not going to space unless I have to. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> then we have Jashko Johnson, $5 in the chat. Good food off the grill and Lords of Gaming Ice Cube was right. Today is mm. a good day. Woo! Mm. Classic Cube. Classic. <laughs> Respect. Then we got Tony Bryant, $5 in the chat. Happy Sunday, everyone. These are absolute gems Dan is dropping. Make sure to like and share this out to people. Yes, 100%. Nice. For sure, for sure. Then we got Gerald Mack, $5 Super Chat. Lord King Stradamus and Lord Sovereign rocking the salt and pepper beards, repping the OGs. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Oh, hell, my, my, my just, listen, my just for men is upstairs. I'm still celebrating my birthday. Oh, no, this, this, I brought this mine too for you. I have a couple in there. Ooh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 Congratulations uh -uh. on the epic beard, sir. It's funny. Yes. I went back, yes. I went back to, the, to our video of Cog's interview. Yeah, he didn't you're, looking, you're looking very young there, sir. <laughs> I look like an infant, I'm sure. I was like a toddler back then. I'm now 45 years older than I was two years ago. <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> By the time this show is over, half an hour from now, I will, it will look like my shirt. <laughs> yeah, little by little he's just brushing it in well, it is. <laughs> shout out to that OG beard talk <laughs> what else we got Cog, Cog with the peach fuzz yes, yeah yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. If he did, if he did. Yeah, I just shake it I just shake it <laughs> then we got Big Cloud hold on, hold on real quick uh -huh. Christopher Hart says people Vote Breath of the Wild before Addict gets a chance to change the, the vote. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? Oh, uh, hold on a second. The Big Cloud Gaming, $5. Big Cloud. Cloud. What's good, Lord? Salute. Hope you're feeling better, Cog. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, on the men. On the men. Thank you. Then we got Raiden Blade, $10. Super, 10 pounds, Super Chat. Hello, Lords. Yes. Good evening from the UK. Have a Ooh. great one. Just stopping by to give my support. Hit that like button. Oh, yes, thank please. You. Hit that thank like. You, Much appreciated. Thank you. Then we have Beaner, $5 Super Chat. Nintendo will make a pro model because that means more AAA competition can be on their platform, taking sales away from their first party. <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't doubt that that, I, I wouldn't doubt that that is part of the plan. <laughs> that is not the plan. That is not the plan. We don't we care. Will, we, will, we will give them so we can shine. <laughs> Ridiculous. No, not the plan. Ridiculous. What else you guys want? 
Then we have Raiden Blade again. Ten pounds super chat. Cog. What days do, do the Dukes run, and is it clean, or do we have f bombs? I only ask as it depends on the time. I might be at work. It might be inappropriate. So it, it, it is the difference between sharing it and not. Oh, your viewer uh, discretion. Discretion. Well, the, the yeah. Lord, I, I still act lordly in, in yes. the realm of the Dukes. But, you know but, what? But, what the, the the Dukes do is what the Dukes do. <laughs> but, but like I said, shout out to Last Day Media. Like I said, I, I don't put anyone you know underneath my rule set. You know, say that's just. Yeah. Yeah. that the way but, the lord carries himself but i will I say is. i will say cog has a cleansing effect i have i've heard less f-bombs as a result of that is true <laughs> yeah, i think i think even colin mentioned it he's yeah. <laughs> you know what it is it's a um it's an unconscious thing yeah if yeah. if you're around people that are mm. they're curbing their language yeah uh you will do it it, it just will be automatically because yeah. you won't hear that type yeah. of verbiage so your verbiage will change to match the verbiage of yeah. the content yeah. mm-hmm. so, but no doubt yeah. like i said I, cog doesn't put any restrictions on anyone else's you know, so yeah. just, just me and in the realm yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would say yeah headphones are advisable just yes 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 just, yes, just, yes. just yeah. a kid <laughs> what else we got sir oh uh, we're good we're caught up uh, no doubt and joining us the lady of the realm, Scumcast's own. Is that oh, the Luca's amazing the Ashen Luca? How we doing, sis? Hello, gentlemen. Thanks so Ooh, much for having me. Needed to be here. Told you. Yeah. yeah what's up, <laughs> guys? Lady Luca oh. in the building. It's been a minute. How you been? What's been going on with you? Very quickly. I love how Carl mm-hmm. makes it seem like someone just snuck in it's the back. It's a big door. surprise. Carl <laughs> 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 makes it feel fraud with my fake surprise voice. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't know this was gonna happen, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I hear me and everything? Or? Yeah, you got yeah, 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 yeah. We need right, that. Right, yeah. We need that effect right before you fight someone on Super Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah. You have a new challenger. <laughs> What's going on, Luca? Yeah, things are great, man. Thanks so much for having me. I always love hanging out with my boys. Yes. You know, hanging yes. out in the realm. At least I know that uh, King David is someone I can rely on for these raids. But oh. whatever. Anyway. Huh? Uh, oh, smoke. She, smoke. She smoke she coming for me. She comes because <laughs> you know what it is? She right. She's like, once, once I got Vex bit the class, I kind of <laughs> I'm kind of eased yeah. up. <laughs> Just her and Taz called, called me. I was like, I got, I got what I came for. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I got yeah, Hollywood. So I'll be back though. <laughs> it's good to be here. Thanks so much for having me. No doubt, no doubt. Like look at the realm. But let's get to these topics. So a big one. I know um Attic wanted to talk about this. Um yeah, it looks like uh the Nintendo Switch uh dropped a new device there, a uh, Switch OLED, you know, goes on sale October 8th for $350. A lot of um I don't say controversy regarding it, but it were definitely some polarizing opinions on the level of what was being offered. So it looks like there's going to be a larger 7-inch 720p OLED yeah. screen. Um, there will be, uh, excuse me, a built-in Ethernet port. Obviously, the built-in storage goes up from 32 gigs to 64. And uh, yeah, so, you know, there was a uh, point. You, you, you're going to miss the, the most important feature. I'm sorry. Please, please, <laughs> please remind me, sir. The wide stand. The <laughs> wide stand. Say that, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The- I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> to, 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 be, to be honest with you, like I, I do appreciate that wide stand. Okay, okay. Well, look, yeah. this is this is definitely Attic's topic. You know, he wanted to bring this to the realm. So, let Attic, you may have a surprising viewpoint on this, right? What, what's your thought process on the OLED Switch release? I think that you know, if if you've picked up every iteration of the Switch, and I think if you were believing. Uh, the uh, quote unquote insiders on the internet talking about <laughs> a 4K device, which you can you can go uh, on the Iron Lords podcast. There's mm-hmm. multiple episodes where I said you guys are full of it and you, you <laughs> hyping yourself too much up for this. And this uh-huh. is probably just going to be an OLED screen mm-hmm. and it's going to have no performance enhancements <laughs> whatsoever. And then I've had multiple times where multiple lords said, there's no way. Nintendo to do that. And, and now we're on that situation to where it's exactly what they're going to do. Uh, you will be probably disappointed for this, but for for people such as myself that only uh-huh. play this on a handheld device, I never, I don't even know where my dock is. I forgot that thing goes on your TV. Wow. To be honest, with you. like, wow. I, and I and I haven't upgraded a Switch since the very first uh, Switch back in 2017. Mm-hmm. I didn't get the iteration. I didn't get none of that light stuff. Or mm-hmm. uh, what, what do you? Call Call that king yeah, call he calls the stand, he calls the switch stand, stand, stand still, still. Stand still. And by the stand still like this is is definitely something i consider picking up 
because it, it, I need a new upgrade and I'd be stupid not to get the OLED switch. Like, so mm-hmm. it's like nothing I'm probably going to do day one, but you know, when they drop something like, you know, Breath of the Wild 2 or something, mm-hmm. it's something I'll probably pick up just for that. Now, obviously, you know, people are saying, oh, you know, performance this, performance that. Look, I've always been the person that I bought this for their first party stuff. I've said it over and over again. Mm-hmm. I don't care about no Doom Eternal. I don't care mm-hmm. about no Wolfenstein. Mm-hmm. I don't even care about a lot of the indie games on there. I mm-hmm. literally picked this up to play Breath of the Wild. It was literally the only reason I picked it up for months. Mm. Uh, and I've picked up pretty much exclusively just their first party stuff right mm. so something like this it, it doesn't bother me and you know i, I understand people are disappointed they expected a, a performance upgrade but this mm-hmm. is nintendo. like people be acting like they've ever cared like, <laughs> like nintendo does what nintendo wants because first uh i've always said making their switch be able to handle more newer games is idiotic because then they'll have more competition. There's a reason their games sell 30, 40 million because it's the only thing you can really buy on those platform, that mm-hmm. platform. So, uh, you know, it's not necessarily something that they're, they don't want third party support, but and they don't need it. Right. And that, that's that's their point. It's like, why would we invite more competition? Now, if you want to jump through hoops and go through ex- go through people that are pretty much exclusively doing ports on the switch Mm -hmm. then go by all means go do that but you know we're not doing stuff to help you out like Mm -hmm. you're gonna have to do stuff on your end to get your games on ours not the other way around Mm -hmm. okay this is why is it always a double standard with nintendo thank you if if sony and microsoft did anything of this (laughs) that's just weak and pathetic Woo! and gross but the it thing is, is completely I, I, it would be completely different it, I, don't, a, I don't get it man i i will never double, understand the thing i is, will never understand the hold nintendo has on y'all man <laughs> <laughs> i never bought this for anything of a powerhouse i, I don't care about the power speculation mm. i think i've said multiple times on this show how 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 many times have i hyped up power on any platform for that but matter? see it's, like, it's, yeah. it's not about the power for me it's about the frame rate Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the All frame right. rate. Yeah. Well, I mean, the power yeah. goes into the frame rate. Yeah, right? but I'm, 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 I will not be purchasing this. Mm. I have absolutely zero reason to do so. Mm-hmm. Um, why? Because your back is wider. What would you you do a lat? You got a wide back. You can lean wide. back better. <laughs> uh, actually, literally charging fifty dollars more for enhancements that are really whatever you want to call them enhancement uh-huh. on old leds oh uh, 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 led screen that screen is not a true old led <laughs> screen it's an old it's uh, an old it's, led it's, no, it's, it's old it's that's a, what it's, no. the old OLD. Yeah. Right here, well, oh, they're targeting 720p resolution <laughs> sub 30 frames like the frames is what but really Luca, gets me ask, yeah. ask yourself <laughs> how, do you tar- how do you target <laughs> those specs how do you, they don't target 720 but are they really gonna hit that mark like, no. yeah, there's a lot of 540p going in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And it's just like, it's wild to me because the Series S is 300 and this is going to be 350. <laughs> Like, I'm just like, you're kidding. Like, you're joking, that, right? Like, they put I the mean, price at, at, the, at end. the end. Uh-huh. They at the put end the price the at the end like they were proud. Of what they yeah, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like they came out of a cave uh-huh. and just and stumbled upon an OLED. It was like, oh, this is new. No, <laughs> not like we didn't have an OLED uh, portable Everything. system like a decade yeah. ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. they, they just they just put uh, an Ethernet core port. Oh. And, so, and, as, as a feat, it was uh, yeah, advertised as a feature. Yeah. Yeah. It was <laughs> like, and and you you saw how they did it with the letters flying towards the screen, like it was, like it was Superman, yeah. like, like, a, like like Nintendo. Like, Nintendo does enough crazy stuff where when mm-hmm. i saw mario party is going to have an online feature mm-hmm. i was surprised <laughs> like <laughs> yeah let's, let's get lord dad in because obviously we, we do a little bit of a roasting session i, I do <laughs> want to get his opinion of the switch oled announcement what, what are you feeling about it yeah i i'm mostly pissed because mm-hmm. now i so I, I mentioned before like i don't have my mm-hmm. switch here right my mom has my switch right. and i mm-hmm. I'm, i want her to just keep it and so mm-hmm. This would be my first oh, so switch. Actually, that, yeah, it'd be a good option for you. This this will be my the first switch that I buy mm-hmm. since the like day one version. I didn't even don't even have like addict. I don't even have like the same version. Remember they came out with like the yeah, I got the battery, 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 battery life. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I don't even have that. Like, like the vents on the top of my switch popped off. I dropped it oh, on wow. it. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. It popped off. Like, mm. yeah. Like that. This switch. The switch is like 
it's, it's doing bad. Hold on, let, let me go grab. It. Let me go grab. It. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm it. mostly I'm mostly just aggravated because I needed to buy a new one anyway, and if I'm gonna have yeah. to buy one for the first time in five mm. years, four years, mm. then I want it to be the most souped up, craziest right. thing, so I don't have to buy another one a mm -hmm. year later because mm -hmm. now it's kind of like all right if they're going to come out with a switch like a true switch pro with a 4k mm -hmm. screen and yeah. everything else like it's like come on i just bought an o o old one yeah. <laughs> OLD. <laughs> i like that the old <laughs> yeah the old of ish edition yeah. <laughs> I, I guess <laughs> What's yeah. up, man? You guys, you... Luca's right though. I I even had this with E3 too, mm -hmm. where I felt very disappointed in Nintendo's E3 showing. Mm -hmm. Oh and wow! I, oh talk. my god! Look at that. Talk so we can <laughs> see it. New cartridge. Talk port. so we can see it on the camera. <laughs> no, no, you have to click my uh my thing. Like, yeah. it, it's, it's it's pretty bad, man, and yeah, that, that's why bad. I'm like, like that's but why yours like... never overheat though. Huh? <laughs> oh, I'm done. I'm done with him. <laughs> no, but we all just so I mean for, again, like you said, Lord Day, like this is something that you would be interested because in, again, your situation, Mama Butchko, she's got the switch, gets moving to the new spot, you need to get yeah. a new switch. So the timing is kind of good. And I get that for you because you're like, okay, I'll I might as well get the most beefed up version of whatever it is. Yeah. But provided you didn't have that situation. Yeah. Provided that you did have your Switch, would you still have picked up the Switch OLED? No. And, I, <laughs> and that's what I was saying. Like, Luca's totally right. I am, I, I am under Nintendo's spell. I get so angry and frustrated when they're, like, the expectation doesn't meet reality. Yes. But, like, this is like a, I'm, like, connected for life to I Nintendo. Guess, like, I, I am not, it's, they're like family to me. That brand right. is family to oh, me. Food. I guess So, like, uh, I'm still going to get whatever the pro is whenever it does come out uh -huh. and then buy well, so, 1,800 so still, games for it. We're, so. we're, 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 we're still under the impression that, 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 that that's that's in the making, right? I think, I, I think that's just the also. next console. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think yeah. all that information got kind of bunched in together mm -hmm. and nobody yeah. knew what Let's it go, was. Let's go, so give it to you. And, and it, I just think that, I think all the DLSS stuff and stuff. I think that's that's that <laughs> that's real somewhere, but that's not this console. <laughs> I, like I we, guess yeah. we could get five more years of, of Switch iterations, mm -hmm. and we won't get any of that stuff. I, I, I don't guess, know. Like when it comes to the Switch. Uh, the Nintendo, like I have such a low expectation <laughs> with them that That's like anything is, is, as we is, is, is messed sad, up North, Luca. anything's yeah. part north. Like like I remember when the last Mario Party was announced, I was so hyped because I grew up on that game. And then when I found out it was only co op couch co op online, I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think what kills me is the price point. Yeah. They because they they give you they get they they put these features in that trailer like it was the greatest thing ever, <laughs> yeah. And then they have the audacity to charge you three fifty for it. And, and I think I think, like, and the worst it, part is it's gonna sell. And it's gonna so sell. Well. That's the oh, thing we know is gonna listen, sell. Listen, listen, yeah. I'm stuck having to get it. And I tell you, oh, why. you gonna get it? <laughs> no. Check this out. Remember, remember the story I told you about my my nephews, right? My right. nephew and my niece that um. So I told them, them I, I was expecting still. a new. Yeah, but that's the thing. I had purchased them standstills two years ago. My sister okay. made me bring them back because she was like, wow. I, I don't want each of them to have one. And mm -hmm. I don't want you purchasing it for them. So mm -hmm. the only way they're going to get it from get, get this system from you mm -hmm. is if you give them your hand me down that I'll accept. Okay. You're not going to go out and buy it. Right. OK, so. As soon as the OLED got announced, yes, my sister calls me like your nephew wants to talk to you, and I'm like, she's like, Theo, did you see the new switch? So when are you giving me your? <laughs> oh, so they wanted. Okay, so they oh, can so, get oh, your oh, hand oh, me down. He was, he was on got top a, of that. I got yeah. a question for you, Saul. Why don't you uh -huh. just go buy one of the ones they have now and, and don't get that one then? Like you. you oh no! I if I'm gonna go, go I'm gonna get I'm gonna you guys, to a store. You guys, I'm gonna drop the extra fifty bucks. No, you guys are like attic. Why are you getting this? Like obviously not you guys why are you getting this you can get a standstill you can get the one they have now and i'm just like why would i do that no no yeah, agree no, agree agree yeah, agree no for a new a, a person who's either new to the ecosystem or a, has to get a secondary switch for whatever reason right a, this, a new switch for another this is this is let, let me jump in this is <laughs> <sighs> i can't believe i i got caught again yeah i, I, I can't, can't believe i can't believe I was bamboozled again. And this time, I can't blame myself too much only because 
switch inside a community. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro. <laughs> is like, that a thing, dog? Bro, is that a thing? Yo, for months. And, and, and he's a reputable source. So I don't want to throw my people you know under, the the breath, thing, under the bus. You know the funny thing? Mm -hmm. is the, the switch inside a community was celebrating. Acting like they were right. <laughs> bro, it was like, I, I mean, you know, Bloomberg and what's the man's name? The, the yeah. Japanese guy that I trust. And, you know, I ain't trying to throw nobody in the bus. But these are people I trust. And I'm like, yeah. DLSS. You know what I'm saying? I mean, go ahead, go ahead, okay. Luca. Let me get my bars off. <laughs> Nintendo has a lot of um, iterations for yes. their systems. Yes. So yes. there's a good, I mean, it's possible the Switch Pro could be coming right. out it, in it, it's a couple of years, especially since there's like the chip shortage is right, 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 right. real bad yeah. right now. So that might be playing mm -hmm. a factor as well. And they're just like, we're going to put this OLED oh, system OLD. Out. Yeah, I like what's <laughs> doing. In the meantime. Yes. So, I mean, they could still be right. Like, you know, you're true. These are reputable sources. Like, yeah, I mean, it, I don't want to I don't want to be like, no, yeah, I, I think all that information did get conflated. And all of that stuff is true in some regard. It's mm -hmm. just yeah. nobody knew exactly <laughs> what so much hope. No, but this is the thing. <laughs> Say, man, that's what I'm saying. Like, man, how many years unless you gotta these go? People, like, unless these people are just making up this stuff, face, right? Unless they're just they're making this stuff. Why kid got the fraud alert? Why kid got the fraud alert? I just want to know how many times I gotta get punched in the face to know that they. <laughs> well, not you know what's funny? <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? Like, like we literally just went through. Man, we should stop like believing in this stuff. And then, like, literally 15 seconds later, I mean, maybe it still exists. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. You know what's funny though? I, well, Makes me what makes me laugh is that people go out and blame Nintendo. Nintendo, yeah, that's true. Did, Nintendo never said Nintendo that. That is true. Nothing. That's why. That's yeah. why. As I said, let me give my balls up. It's it's our own fault. It's my own fault. Like I said, the Switch Insider community. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no DLSS. For this thing is not coming in hot. No DLSS. <laughs> no resolution, but no Bluetooth. Nintendo. Nothing. Come Dude, on. Can I get a toxic it, it is. It is an abusive it's relationship. An abusive it really, relationship. It's totally abusive. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, like, like uh, once again, like, mm -hmm. did you guys expect Bluetooth? When have they ever done Bluetooth? Bro, like, it, it is like a standard feature. Yeah. I, I get that, but Nintendo don't care. This They'll like have it on the Switch three. <laughs> The Switch 3 will have Bluetooth. <laughs> and then what pisses me off, you got that, and they got the nerve to be advertising with graphics or Ethernet yeah. ports. Like, who? Where they do that now, at? It was, it was the most amazing, <laughs> mediocre. <laughs> yeah. It's Yo, just, it's like just. hardware reveal. Yo, <laughs> when I saw it, I saw it on my timeline. I said, what? <laughs> New switch. Yeah. Oh, so I click it and I'm like, yeah. Oh, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> Ethernet has been out God, in the system since so 2001. Good. Vita had an OLED in 2011. They don't like, care about that. Like, at the end of the day, look, I get it. For the new, you know, people who are going to be new switch owners or you need a replacement, no doubt. But it's just like, this is the, the epitome. Old yeah, the like, old, with, did, the drift. The joy with the drift. With the drift. And you know yeah. there's going to be drift. I you think, know there's like, going to be drift. I with think, the drift. This is not coming in hot. I think the issue that you guys have is like, I've, how are we going to expect this type of thinking from a company that still got like 2,000 to the 2000s online features like, yeah, and that, and that, like and that's they, the thing. They, they, you can't yep. even message people bro on this you can't yeah. that you can't that's my anything. thing <laughs> so, I, that's like, yeah that's why i have such low expectations with the switch like when, when, when i saw mario party i was literally like this oh i mean whatever it's not going to be online and when they showed it the online man you would think i'm back in the 2000s yo that's online <laughs> <laughs> like yeah it, it's just i, I, like, I just I remember you saying yeah next year they're, they're gonna have the first show <laughs> next year. We we hope next year. <laughs> it's just a painful. He's it's gonna a... marry me next year. Yeah. Next year I'm gonna get a ring. Next year. <laughs> it's just dead. It's just an abusive relationship. Sometimes, and it just, it just to me it's like. It, what's that? Uh, so I've used the expression all the time, which I is snatch. No, snatching. You're snatching defeat. <laughs> snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. Yeah, <laughs> this was a slam dunk. Like you just had to do like two or three things, and it would have yeah. been good. You know what I'm saying? It, it, I mean, it would have been like uh, the masses would have been more behind it. And the sad thing, Luca, is people are. 
still, still gonna buy going to buy this in droves. In droves. You know what's so funny? it, it you know what's enables funny? them to continue these you know, slight like, revisions when, and when, this behavior. When, when, the, when their fan base, when the majority of their fan base just continues to give them money and continues to buy these systems with the bare minimum, not even the bare minimum, it has nothing. <laughs> and it's just kind of like, <laughs> okay. And you know what the crazy thing is? I, as soon as this was announced, I tweeted it out like, wow, this should have been the switch y'all launched with. And it really resonated with mm -hmm. people, but it's like, that, that seems pretty uh, obvious to me, you know? Yeah. The problem, Luca, is a large portion of their consumers are kids. That's yeah. the ones that you you buy. You got eight kids. You're buying all eight of them a Switch. Yeah. Like, yeah. that is the portion of their community. And guess what? They don't care about none of this shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, but they it, just want to play the game. That's why, for the most part, Nintendo didn't care about none mm -hmm. of this online stuff because they encourage you to link up with other switches and play mm -hmm. yeah so like that's why they got away with it for so long because like look like, like super smash brothers we might want like a stable online connection mm -hmm. but stacy billy and bit so, no and you're Beth, right you, like, you know what Add it, you wanted something like, because at the end of the day yeah. it's more mm -hmm. beneficial for them to have multiple switches in one household, household. Yeah. than it is for them to really focus on online infrastructure which would make yeah. you play with other people online and the problem you you wanted something, bro. I think yeah. that, that it, the portability of because remember the online infrastructure. Even you got you guys are we you you owners. I mean, like didn't they have a somewhat online infrastructure before, like better than Who what the Switch the is? The, the, the Wii U, Wii U. The 3DS had a oh. had a, an okay. Uh, online okay, no, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. But look, I just want to. We got to move. Who used on. that? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's still probably the same infrastructure from the Wii U. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like you know, like you know, I get the you know the domestic relationship thing. Yeah. What's sure. funny is like it's like it's like a weird domestic relationship. Like people getting upset when Nintendo don't even say nothing. It's like <laughs> people getting upset other like other people hyping up your girl. The like, hope people that, upset the, the hope that the relationship would girl. change based on sources. He's, That's what we was gonna stop about. drinking. Uh, no, he's yeah, he's gonna no, stop. He's not. He will not. He has never shown you anything of the same. <laughs> I guess, I mean, Attic makes a good point. Like, the system's for kids. So. Yeah, 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 that's a good point. Whatever. That's, that's, a good that's point. also I probably just, why they have, like, if you saw in the footage on the video, mm -hmm. they still show people like with the stand at a picnic table on yes, a roof. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, I, I, and the more I think about it, it's like, that has to be for I've, parents yes. being able to say, well, my kids can at least go outside with it. You know, yes. you that know has, how, to be. has to be. My, my, my you know biggest the, problem mm -hmm. with this switch is, okay, so we know that is a Tegra chip, Tegra one chip mm -hmm. that has been modified to hold it back, mm -hmm. right? All I just said is just release the Tegra One chip to mm -hmm. uh, actually be used in its fullest. That's that's it. You don't really have to do much. Just release the. the and you don't even have to go Tegra Two. You really don't. No, mm -hmm. no Tegra Two because uh, I watched Digital Foundry where they were able to get down to the system to overclock the mm -hmm. system so it can actually run Crisis, and it actually ran better. Mm -hmm. So it's actually. Oh God, we so Nintendo look, just, holding back the console just to point on out, purpose. Uh -huh. Just to point out, King, you want Nintendo to overclock they own system. <laughs> no, no, no. It's no. You know what it is? They underclock their uh -huh. they system. All I'm just saying is just release the just let it be. Right. You just just does it take away? What I think because what it is is the life? battery life. That they, yeah. they, 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 because um, of the portability aspect, that's their in my opinion, that's their concern. I think that's the um, biggest concern. I'm yeah. going Real quick, I'm gonna end this poll. Mm -hmm. uh, I asked the the, the the community, do they think I'm gonna change my mindset on Skyward Sword? And 59 percent of them said no. I'll put a poll related to this. Topic. All right, no doubt. No, no. <laughs> I want to move on because uh, time is limited for Dan, and I want to try to sneak in this last topic while we have them. And uh, this is you soft, so uh, let's get it, man. Sony's uh, what state to play, right? Yeah. So we had a state of play from Sony. I think it was this past Thursday, and. Uh, fairly light on stuff that i'm super excited about but um the things let me just focus on the things that i that i really like obviously death loop was kind of the star with nine minutes of gameplay mm -hmm. uh shout out to xbox game studios because that game looks amazing <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. shout out to arcade i love death loop just looks absolutely amazing mm -hmm. um the other stuff that really stood out to me is a game that we've talked about in the past mm -hmm. that we just the moment we saw it, that is an us game and that mm -hmm. is seafood Ooh. Ooh. um the the developers of this game also made a game called Absolver that came out on the PS4 yes. initially. Yes. Uh, 
early on in the PS4 generation. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed it because it, it really was this thing where there was a lot of variety in the hand to hand combat. Mm -hmm. And there was it was just a very sort of fluid thing that, you know, for fans of old school, is that $70? Um, beat em up, sir. No, I'm not. I better not be seventy dollars. But whatever, we'll get past that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. But I, let me just talk about why why this game is cool and why um, I guess the lords would gravitate to it. Right? Mm -hmm. We're big Streets of Rage fans. We'd be big Double Dragon fans. As much as we love those older games, right? Once you get really good at those games, the things you can do within the game in terms of variety of beating up your opponents is very limited, right? You will start doing crazy and weird stuff like, oh, um, I'm gonna stand over here, you throw the guy my way and I'm gonna do a spin <laughs> kick and kick. Like this is the sort of stuff you would do to try to like just increase the replay value of the game. Mm -hmm. What Sifu is attempting to do is taking those sort of basic tenets of, of, of beat em ups and applying them to arenas and set pieces where everything is interactive. And depending on where you attack your enemy and where they are in the world, it's, it's gonna give you a different animation in terms of like how they're being affected by the world, how they're being hit by a table, a wall, a piece of, you know, a, a whatever a bottle. And there's really no game that I've seen that's attempting to do this where it's going to play out differently every single time you yes. play it, depending on how you attack your enemy. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of the dream for somebody who's mm -hmm. loved these type of games Channel forever, five, right? Five, you know, you know, Channel 5. Like you know, real Channel 5. You know what's funny, though? Like, mm -hmm. I felt so. I don't care about this game, but I was watching. <laughs> I was watching J Main's re, uh, stream. That's how I was watching. It was through his reaction mm -hmm. stream. <laughs> They said 2021. Like, you know how, like, when, when they like, something, no, it, 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 no, it's crazy how they did it. Because most of the time people do something like that when it's being up, not pushed back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to see, yo, it was coming out in November. Now it's coming out in September. You should be hyped. It's like yeah. they did the reverse. It's like, yo, it was coming out in 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> nah, you gotta wait. We'll finish so, up yeah. solving, then we gotta get so, there. Yeah. So, for me, that that I, I love that, and I, I really hope that game uh is all that I see that they, the promise <clears throat> is sort of lived up to. Mm -hmm. um, beyond that, Moss too. Moss was one of the one of the kind of standout PSVR games. Mm -hmm. um, Moss two. I, I kind of wish they just hold on to it for PSVR two. I don't really see why right released the PSVR one because mm -hmm. um, they just haven't talked about it. And PSVR one again, they they just it doesn't seem like there's a whole bunch of new stuff coming. I know we saw stuff for it before, mm -hmm. but I don't. I just don't see the excitement around it. So. I hope they're not putting this game out to die on PSVR because, right. again, they haven't confirmed. And this is another very Nintendo, maybe PlayStation type thing where they haven't confirmed that PSVR one games will play on PSVR 2. Right. The expectation, the expectation is there. The expectation is there. But, but we, well, learned but we know to. what happens with expectations. <laughs> yeah, SWAT so, delivery was um, real. Yeah. You said you're dealing with Sony? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Is for you, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so that that was it. And the other stuff was mm -hmm. kind of smaller games and whatnot that really didn't stand out to me. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, that was oh, it. Fair enough. Let's get up, Lord. Damn, man, did you get a chance to watch the state of play? And if you did, were there any standouts? What did you take from it? Yeah, uh, number one was Moss Two by mm -hmm. far. I I loved that first one mm -hmm. on PSVR, but That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to your point though, it's like I'm I'm in a new apartment with just the PS5. I'm not gonna haul my ps4 and my psvr1 and the mm -hmm. move controllers across yeah. state lines <laughs> just to play <laughs> moss 2 like i want to play that game very very badly but it, it feels like that honestly could have been like one of the standout titles that they formally announced psvr2 yes. with an, like a launch date and everything around but it, it felt like a missed opportunity or something mm -hmm. um and i i'd love for that game to like really showcase the power of the PSVR 2 yes. rather than be made for PSVR 1 mm -hmm. um, and then just playable on PSVR 2. No, it's a, it's a good point. I, just to follow up, like, what do you? I know we're just guessing, we're speculating. Like, what do you think? King's laughing. I just want to know what what do you think the mindset behind you know the PSVR 2 is with them? Is it something that you think is just not ready yet, and then it was still way farther away than many anticipated? That's why maybe this type of you know, moss announcement is the, the amount. Yeah. The mm -hmm. amount of like blockage I have for uh, VR games, mm -hmm. I didn't even know there was a VR game. Oh my god! Move it on. <laughs> <laughs> Move it on. Continue. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I, I think it's probably 
much further off than folks would expect. And that's why the only thing I think we've really seen was on the PlayStation blog, right? right. Like that's what a strange way to say anything, mm-hmm. but that was a way to like make sure the hardcore fans knew that something was coming without like making some big bombastic right. announcement and getting the it's, hype up for something that's not like coming for a long time. Just mm-hmm. to clarify, is this the same blog they announced Horizon was coming out next for this gen? And... <laughs> was this I the think, same I blog? think so, yeah. I think it was yeah. a PlayStation blog, yeah. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. an information dump type of situation. Mm-hmm. Um, it's that, that we're going we gonna to announce something, but not, but not announce <laughs> Exactly. You know, I feel it. I feel it. No, but I, I guess so. Pretty much for you, Lord Dan, the the, the you know, Moss, any other title, or that was like the main one for you. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. It's the one from uh, Super Brothers. Okay. It's like it's like a it's like a spacefaring one. I think um, I remember which it's one. It's kind of procedurally Faring. generated. I don't oh, have the list in front I of me. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like it was a procedurally generated joint. Um, I'll look it up. Yeah, I'm looking right now. It's not. It's not yeah, exactly. Is it the Jet, beast, Jet the happening. Far Shore? Jet the yes, Far Shore. Yes. Yeah, that's from it. Super Brothers. Yeah, yeah, right. They announced mm-hmm. that a while back. Yeah, yeah. yeah Jet the yeah. Far Shore. I, I mean, yeah, t- to your point, King, I was like not very hyped up about the, any of these things at all. Mm-hmm. But like the, the Jet the Far Shore game, I thought, okay, that could be cool because mm-hmm. Super Brothers put out like really cool games in the past. Right. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, it did feel. On the whole, it was like, eh. you know, <laughs> it was like, mediocre. You, were, were you not impressed with the with the the new uh, the new layer of sheen on the throat baby game? Yeah. Death oh, Stranding. <laughs> I I liked Death Stranding, but I didn't like it enough to not play it when there's like the world is open. You know right, what I mean? Right, like, right, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like a pandemic game yeah, for me. Yes. Like I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I can't walk outside, so I'm going to walk in a in walking simulator. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Deliver packages. You know, yeah. one mm-hmm. game that, that I forgot to mention, I thought just was just impressive animation wise mm-hmm. was the Demon Slayer game mm-hmm. in terms of animation. And like, mm-hmm. it, it really does look like the, uh, like, like the movie, like the, like the anime, it really does sort of move very nicely. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Lady Luca, so you muted. Just want to make sure you study. I wanted to get your opinion on the uh, state of play. If you got a chance to watch it, any uh, standouts for you? I actually didn't watch it. Okay, uh, <laughs> you good? You good? You good? You good? You good. So, like, you the know, right decision. So Sony came through and they let us know exactly what they were going to be showing, and I was like, oh, thank you. I don't have to watch this. So. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so did, once you saw the list, did anything maybe uh, Death Stranding director's cut or <laughs> any? <That's funny>. She's <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, nothing oh, stood out. To me, I mean, Def Loop is something I'm already gonna get. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I don't need to see any more of that game. Yeah. Okay. Know? But there was nothing on that list where I was like, oh, no, mm-hmm. I was like, no, thank you. So I could, I commend them for, you know, being very honest about what they were showing, so I didn't have to waste my time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. Respectfully. 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 L- Lord Addict, uh, what about you, man? Stay to play. I enjoyed it. It was. Uh, oh. I, I, it showed me a little bit more on why I should get Death Loop. Mm-hmm. I, I'm still in this mindset where Death Loop's not dishonored, so I don't care. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, it, it showed me like, okay, this is not dishonored, but you know, this could be a good experience. Yeah, it, it's just yeah, yeah. like I see them doing the blink on there. I'm like, that's not dishonored. Why are you blinking like that? So mm-hmm. like, like, so it kind of like frustrates me with stuff like that. But you know, I can't expect them to make dishonored for the rest of my life. So mm-hmm. it is but- what it is. I uh, what. I'm a little worried about that though, because you look at uh, whatever what's it called, Red Dawn. What is it? Uh, whatever the, the the Red Dawn or whatever the one, the other one, the vampire one. Yeah, right. It, it's kind of they they, they do a blink the there thing. too. Yeah, pretty much. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> pretty much. So it's like it's I, I don't. Yeah, it is their thing. I don't want them to get stagnated. It's there, like Michael Bay. More oh, mechanics. <laughs> You're out of control. Oh, no, no. Let's not do Michael Bay. Let's no, not do that. That's, I, a, that's a joint. That's a sketch phrase. Explosions. When, when it, it, it comes to me, like, I do feel like, you know, like Lucas said, they're very open and honest with you. Mm-hmm. With it. So if, like, you was disappointed, that's your fault. It's not right. theirs. Right. Oh, I, do, so I, I guess this is my fault. But, hold, hold <laughs> on. I, I got the other side for you, King. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go for but, it. But, like, at I the end my... of the day, like, regardless if they showed you this state of play with, um, mm-hmm. with Death Loop, like, we we can all agree that this isn't the state of the play that the people expected. First one after E three, yeah. Yeah. So like yeah. when when I first saw, I'm scrolling through Twitter, I saw 
they put oh we're having to study the play you know how you like you see something like you're like oh you, you know what it is the play. <laughs> so you know how like you see something you know what it is and then you start reading you get disappointed the longer you yep, read yep. so i'm like oh yeah. state of play we good and i'm sitting there i'm like when is this man i'm like oh <laughs> <laughs> i was just i was disappointed because like i was expecting that I'm about to see the you know gameplay for God of War Ragnarok. Mm-hmm. I'm about to see, you know, nope. what? I said nope. Yeah, I'm about <laughs> to see uh, you know the release date for maybe Horizon, mm-hmm. um, Forbidden yeah, West, or whatever that is. Next so year. like I got really Kids excited for just like the anticipation on next gen games possibly on the on the PlayStation, and then when you see it's like you know we're highlighting a game that we've highlighted multiple times. I'm like. Uh... Mm-hmm. Okay, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, fair enough, fair enough. Let's get uh, King is ready. He's dancing, he's twirling. There's something he has to say about this state of play. So, King, the floor is yours. You clearly have a lot to say. <laughs> well, 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 well. Real quick, well, real, real, real quick, King, real quick. Uh, Cog, you might as well just double click his name so our laughing don't go over his rant. No, he's, he's about to go. Continue. Yeah, so, so, so. <laughs> Um, same energy, people. <laughs> same energy, people. I remember Microsoft coming out being very clear with what they were doing. Uh huh. We have a third party indie show that we are going to show you our wares. Mm-hmm. They did that. Y'all roasted them. Mm-hmm. Y'all went in. <laughs> Was that the gameplay now, one? Was no, no, he game? talked about the third party. Yes, one. I know what he's yes, talking the about. One that did, the one that they. Roasted Microsoft for showing these games because they wanted bangers. I saw no bangers. The only banger was a Microsoft game. <laughs> Being Shout definite. out to Phil Dominus Maximus. <laughs> Here we go. We're tweeting out right before. Go yeah, that was pretty Phil got messy. Phil got messy. That, 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 that was tweeted, very petty. He tweeted and he said, I, lo- uh, I can't wait for you guys to see what uh, what Arcane what? Studios is doing and, and put yeah. Deathly. <laughs> Yo, I know that. Well, Continue. we're working on and go buy it. <laughs> and give us money. <laughs> <laughs> Go by, because we know the best thing you about to see is our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to you for going to a PlayStation <laughs> event to see Microsoft stuff. <laughs> now, Messy. this is the best part about the whole thing. Uh-huh. It was totally forgettable. Mm-hmm. No disrespect to any developer, any game that was there. Mm-hmm. I think the cadence was off. Mm-hmm. I thought yeah. the uh, it started off with a VR game, right? Mm-hmm. A VR game that we thought that they would be announcing uh, the VR 2. Correct. That was a missed opportunity. I feel so that. then that fell on deaf ears. Mm-hmm. So just like Dan said, am I supposed to go get my PlayStation to, to, to take it across <laughs> state lines? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like he's, he's trapping it. They're, like trying, to, they're <laughs> trying to kill that game, man. I don't Yo, understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it was, I've never got more delight in watching delight. everybody <laughs> having to manage their money. Now, this is a difference between when I watch an Xbox event. And I don't care what y'all say. It's, it's about state of play. It's about war. So, <laughs> war. And, and this uh, is war. This uh-huh. is war. This is how you win the war. Mm-hmm. When you have... Uh, uh, um. The CEOs and everybody come out and they're telling you what we're going to have available. Mm-hmm. The key points in the Microsoft show is we have 30 games, 27 of them is going to be in Game Pass. If you happen to have Game Pass, then right. enjoy the show. Right. I have to watch the state of play with discerning eyes on where I'm going to put my money. Is this because right. of the lack of Game Pass or is this what we do? Uh, that's not my issue. That's a their issue. <laughs> that's a their <laughs> issue. Okay, that's a them. That's a them. All right? So yeah. do you, you have PlayStation Now and none of these games, except for one game I heard was going to be in, uh, released in PlayStation Now. Mm-hmm. So that you made me say, if I wanted to see this game, I can have PlayStation Now so I yeah, can partake Plus, I mean, in yeah. this mm-hmm. game mm-hmm. To, to, to check it out. It's a missed opportunity to have all these wonderful indie games that were shown mm-hmm. that was not inside PlayStation. Now, if you want to prop up that your your services, this is your services. It's in your store. Right. It's on your console. It's at your show. But I have to sit there and figure out where I'm going to spend my money and how. Mm-hmm. This is coming from an individual mm-hmm. that watched Disney Plus this week mm-hmm. and decided to pay $29.95 mm-hmm. for, for you know the benefit of the family. Right. I saw no benefit for the family in watching this show. 
Mm. I think the I think the issue with that is is like Microsoft's okay with spending that type of money to get those games on their service, and I just don't think Sony is. That's like, a Sony I, problem. I, yeah. I, no, I'm not disagreeing with you. It's just like I think that's mainly where that's at. It's, it's like, just so a mindset. Like, yeah, it's like yeah. Microsoft has is, no it's, problem it's, spending. It's not you know, a mindset. Mm-hmm. It's taking you for granted. Mm. Microsoft is in, a, in a, is in a position of of second place. Let's be real. Right. They're clawing, they're fighting, they're they're they're, they're jumping at the kid in the, in the back of the room that's waving his hand. <laughs> he wants, you know, uh-huh. he has the answer. Right. But they're always calling on the guy in the front. He's doing his best. He's studying. He's working hard. Right. He's trying to get he's to hungry. the point. He yeah. wants your yeah. attention. The other one is taking you for granted. Mm, so you okay. putting yeah. out a show that you're going to watch and you're going to say, "Well, I'm gonna buy two or three of those games. Mm-hmm. I'm going to spend my bucks." But they're not going the extra mile to get you. Right. Right. So when I watch it, I'm watching it with discerning eyes on what I have to pay for and what I'm going to pay for. Mm. I'm not paying for anything there. (laughs) And and the best part about it is the most important game that that I would have spent money on Mm -hmm. is a Microsoft game that I know when that exclusive time is up, it's coming in Game Pass. Right. And I don't have to worry. So let me ask you this. That's what I took away. Just a double just a double down. So in your opinion. It, the show would have had more value for the indie stuff if they would have packaged or say a lot more of them included into the PlayStation Plus service. Would that have made it more attractive to you? If they would have said, and this would have been a reason for me to get PlayStation Plus, okay, or PlayStation Now, or mm-hmm. whatever service that you have on your, your on your console, right? We're going to show you thirteen games. Mm-hmm. Out of these thirteen games. Uh, 12 of them right. will be inside PlayStation Now, PlayStation mm-hmm. Plus. Mm-hmm. What? Are you yeah. serious? Mm. I got to agree with them. Like that, that the thing you is, know, is like, I get that people have the mindset and it's okay to like, look like, you know, PlayStation. They're like, well, PlayStation is not Microsoft. And it's like, mm-hmm. look, I understand that. But it's like, at the end of the day, we can't act like Microsoft's not doing the things they're doing. And, yeah. right. and like, we should encourage some form of competition with yeah. that. No, I like, get it. I get like, it. No, I, I'm referring to the people that say we don't need these games in PlayStation now. We need to buy these games. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and my thing, we want the option to get them in a service. I don't care. <laughs> and, and my thing is like, look, like just because you know things things are things are fine with PlayStation. Right. A, a lot of uh, you know the people you know on on social media and stuff they have that like that that mindset. That that's how it's always going to be, and it's just like no, mm-hmm. like. Right now, micro. I, I feel like it's a little bit of like a reverse thing that happened in 2013. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like you know they that Microsoft came off of a good 360 right. generation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why Call of Duty was still with Microsoft at that time. Right. And then, you know Microsoft had, had had that time at the beginning to really get stuff together. Mm-hmm. So that way, a few years from then, when Sony started launching stuff, it would be a little bit more even, but Microsoft didn't do none of that. Right, right. Yeah. They, they, mm-hmm. they, stayed, they stayed coasting down the road. Mm-hmm. And then when Sony got those quote unquote bangers up and running, mm-hmm. it was just like the road just was like this. No, like, I mean, listen, you, you guys are making valid point. I do understand where King is going with the value proposition if those games were announced in the service because it, then it makes it more attractive. And I, I just think it's two different philosophies. I think yeah. their philosophy is, you know, our games are quality or whatever. We can rely on this, you know, track record of quality and they're holding on to that. And, right? they, and then, and yeah. I, yeah. I feel like they could do that fine. But right. it's just like, I mean, we can't sit here and act like every game that was shown at that state of play was, was fire. Oh, no, absolutely. And, and to, it, to your it, point, yeah, to your point and King's point, it's like, you know, King's looking at those games is like, look, you know, I don't know if I'm buying all that, but if they would have had a service like a Game Pass, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then it's like, okay, now what's King's word? You allow me to partake. <laughs> yeah. King's word is partake. Like he he about, you know, experiment. Now I'll, I'll give it a shot. I would have yeah. never would give it a shot. I guess I'll, then I'll, I'll get out. I, I really do think, like to King's point, I really do think that even if you don't, you're still resistant to the idea of first party bangers, Dan Date or whatever. Right. You know, the indies is different. Yeah, the indies yeah. are different. If you give me a, a play, like a PlayStation Indies initiative, that's more of a service, right? 
you I think in a lot of ways you also you rectify these issues that Indies are having with PlayStation in terms of discoverability. Yeah. And if you create an initiative specifically for Indies where the focus is on them and these games could be brought to the forefront. Sounds like and it's, playcrafting. Yeah, it, there's a way to, mm-hmm. to discover these games. Talk your talk, dude. And it, it really, I, but it, it makes 100% sense. And that way you have you have your 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 game pass ish thing right. that's mm-hmm. not you know that, that it, it's smaller but at the same time you are doing a lot of great work to bring these indies to the forefront and i think you yeah. do rectify a lot of these issues that these individual small developers I, are having I, with playstation i think right. the thing about that is is we've seen that i don't know if that's not, i mean i don't know obviously i'm not like a fly on the wall over there mm-hmm. but i don't think that's like their mindset anymore i think their mindset is we're going to build our internal studios. We're going we're, we're going to focus on the highest quality games. Yeah, that's possible. what I think. I, I agree. I think their and mindset I, is different. And, and you know, uh, we're going to attempt to do, you know, the indies and the and the I feel like they still have a huge, you know, presence in terms of third yeah. per, uh third party stuff, but yeah. as far as like it, I feel like their mindset is if you're not making us an X amount of dollar or more, we yeah. don't care. Like right. it's it's kind of like that 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 meme of that dude that's on the the sports network. It's like we don't care. Like, <laughs> so, it just it just depends on how they feel about your game. Like this mm-hmm. is not what the third time we've seen seafood, right? Right. And then the other games that you know you see them in a sizzle reel and never see them again, and right. all of a sudden they're out. And to find them, you have to know mm-hmm. what the game's name is and yeah. type it into the PSN yeah. store, and yeah, maybe it comes. Uh, yeah, up. Colin mentioned that real quick, Luca. Before I go, um, do you agree with with King or uh, as far as the uh, the Sony Indies? You know, could they should they be in a like should they work with them to put them more in a service like uh, PlayStation Plus or PlayStation Now, or you feel Sony's fine with the way they're doing things currently? Right, you said Luca, right? Yeah, Luca, the lady. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that Sony is going to do whatever it is that they feel is best for themselves. Now, um, what that is exactly, we don't know yet because they are very much marching to the beat of their own drum. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're going about things differently than a lot of people would expect. And mm-hmm. I think on whether or not that's actually going to work, only time can tell. Mm-hmm. You know, there's been some indie devs who've spoken out about certain things that PlayStation has done uh, Mm -hmm. subtly, of course. Mm -hmm. And there's others who really support the platform and are happy with what they're getting from them. So Mm -hmm. I don't know if these games are going to show up in PS Now. I don't think Sony is concerned about PS Now as it stands right now. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to eventually start working on that particular infrastructure, but as it stands, their focus is on putting their games on PC. Right. That's what it seems like. Shout and everything Nixus. else is just kind of in the background right now. My heart. Shout out shout out to King's favorite. Shout out to heart. King's Nixus. favorite studio, <laughs> Nixus, the my PC point. But they are gonna get him started. Let me forget my poor balls on I gotta get Dan out on time. Um, you know, look, at the end of the day, I, I hear where you're coming, King. I I think that is something the cool thing about competition is that if Xbox continues to do what they're doing with the X, uh, ID at Xbox program, with some of these games being afforded in the Game Pass. Obviously, we had studios like Unto the End here on Island's mm-hmm. podcast, a small development studio, just a husband and a wife team. You know, it went through kind of development hell for a while. It went away. I found them, resurfaced, and then come to find out they were able to get this amazing Game Pass deal to get themselves and get over the finish line with their mm-hmm. way their deal was structured to get the money up front. And the visibility on the storefront. That mm-hmm. is huge where you are literally, your game is right next to the Gears Awards, the Halos and all yeah. that. When you open, That is huge for an indie. So that's what the hope is as far as them. And like I said, shout out to, to Liam and, and all, you know, the outcries from the development community on that side. And hopefully could, Sony can change that process. As far as the show, look, I'm an indie guy. So I, did, I actually like some of the show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I actually did. Like I thought Tales of Midgore was fire. What like, was I, you buying? I'm probably buy Tales of <laughs> Seafood. I'm buying day one. Don't don't come yeah. for me. No, I see what you're doing. Uh, no, seafood. No, I'm, just, I'm buying seafood. Is my most anticipated. That is Channel We're... Five Martial Arts. That is day one. It's sad mm-hmm. that it's delayed to 2022, but mm-hmm. I love. Wait. <laughs> what? Hurry up and wait. Yeah, I gotta I feel, wait. I feel like mm-hmm. I feel like we're gonna have to start. Uh, what ha- having people check? Uh, check oh no, you could do whatever. Bro, bro, yes, you could. Bro. You could check. Well, let, let, let's. You know, we need. I to am do copying. See, we, I literally, that's probably like the, my most anticipated game yep. of the year outside of Halo Infinite. 
can't, I'm gonna be know, one thousand on that. You know what we need to do? We need to go back on that last Sony conference because <laughs> and, and, there was a couple there. He that's day one. Uh huh. He picked those up. I did. I did. I picked up that joint. Nah, I picked up the path list. He's gonna get Sibu. Is he? Yeah. Y'all know me. That Run yeah. Run Shaw, Channel Five, yes. Martial Arts, Tight yeah. Corridor. And then the, the mechanic would you die and then you age and you become like mm -hmm. a man. Like, that's the yeah, yeah, ninja. That's yeah, the game of yeah. ninja right there. I'm yeah. all in day one. The tribes of Migal look hot. It was like mm -hmm. 10 player co op. It was one game that had me in it. Which I was, actually. Yeah, that was oh, yeah, 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 I know it gave you had me in different iterations. In different iterations. Yeah. <laughs> they had disco <laughs> version of you. Yeah, yeah your oh, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, and, that and game. It, it, it aged me. It, 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 it literally showed multiple aspects of myself there. Shout out to Neo Spark for mm -hmm. even putting that up, which I found absolutely. Yeah, shout out to Spark. Yo, and I'm sitting there, yeah. and, and 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 they look over, and they like, yo, did you just see what I just saw? <laughs> yo, it <laughs> literally said, yeah. looked yeah. Yeah, like it was so much fun. you. It was so much fun. But yeah, like I said, I, I liked it. It was the North Mythology joint, ten player, the co-op. I liked the customization. I liked the bosses. You were fighting old and dull looking mm -hmm. like creatures. That look. What? Why? Is it is it $70? $70? Why do we don't $70. know? We we we, we, we not gonna Why act like everything is seventy dollars. We, we, we not gonna act like uh. they need the seventy dollar team. We are not gonna act like that. Like, we gonna act like we gonna will, keep the truth. Tell the truth for shade. No, if it's seventy dollars, I don't know. Yeah, if it's seventy, I, will, I don't oh, know if I'm paying seventy. I will, I, I, oh, on I on tribes. No, 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 on tribes. <laughs> Seafood will, could be eighty dollars. I'm getting it. I will agree with King that. That's, you know, normally we're used to games, a lot of that on that caliber would be like $20, $30. Mm -hmm. no. But, but I, I do feel like because, you know, they've done the, the raise in prices by mm -hmm. the, uh, $10, if it was going to be a 30 this gen, it's probably going to be a $40 that game next gonna gen. It's going to be $70. It's not going to be $70. $70. You want to nah, do a bend the knee for $70? Nah, I got to do nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, I don't, so, I don't so, so to now you just... ain't a mad your convention. No, no, okay, no, I got no. what it is. Look. You know what it is? I don't know if it's only two boards. <laughs> so see, the fact that you don't know how, how many levels, what's up yeah. with that, it could be one arena. <laughs> Like $49.95. I feel that. Arena. I and feel come, that. And then come behind two weeks later for season pass for $29.95. <laughs> yeah. Even out. No, so fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. But just to conclude, you know, that looked good. You know, like I said, Tron's Big Up provided the price. It's not 70. I will get it. Right. Um, Seafood doesn't matter. The I'm sorry, Fonz. Seafood, it does not matter. I am getting that game. That game is fire. Sure. That speaks to me. I'm getting it. So, um, and de definitely look more impressive. But to. Solves point and King's point, and you know I'm like fire, but I know that's coming to get back. So well, that, you know that's the thing, though. There, there, there was some sort of speculation that that game is straight up exclusive. It's yeah, well, well, now that y'all said they, Phil, Phil that jumped out on Front Street yeah. and said once yeah. Phil said that, I'm like, oh, I can just wait and get that for free ninety nine. I, I know. I think, I, think, I think they're already reporting that it's a year exclusive. Yeah, one year exclusive. Year. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it, it is what it is. Yo, so, not, said, don't say eighty. <laughs> you might be listening. <laughs> this I'm is one like, of those titles. They're not gonna come in the back door and tell you no we want to extend the exclusivity yeah. no, no. no because you're gonna Yo, that's not gonna happen yeah. this is because microsoft Final gonna Fantasy. laugh they're gonna walk out the door <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not Listen. it's not the square enix thing they like, can't get away but with at it. the, the end door of will the... be closed in your face <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day for indies i can understand people's disappointment wanting bigger the bigger titles i can totally understand if they gave a low score Respect, you know, for me, I do like the indie, so I thought there was some joints that was good, and um, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much what you I got. You weren't a fan of Fist, you don't no, want to I'm, play I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I, I thought it was, it's like I said, I thought it was, a, it was a decent show, yeah. like, I thought it was entertaining for the mm -hmm. most part. I want the same energy, but it, I, 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 like, it is the same, like, it's like I said, like, this isn't the one that we expected, though, like, yeah, right, right. okay, but this is not expect it, and, and I get that, <laughs> and that's what I said, I brought that up, King, we're not gonna act like <laughs> I didn't see, bring that see, up, see, see, see. See, listen, see, everybody. You're talking missing, to me, King. No, but like, I'm telling you, people are missing the point. What's the point? They're missing the point. 
the reason why Sony wasn't at E3, the reason why they were not there, the reason why they were not competing, the reason why they didn't have a show, because they don't have games. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm low key start. Like, I, I, I don't uh -huh. want to. Time to end the show. Time to end the show. Yeah. Oh, no, no, let's get, quick, let's get quick, Dan out of here. Real quick, real quick, before, let's before that happens. Let's usher Dan, Dan out the room. Wait, 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 then we can continue this. Let me get Dan out on top. I got to get there. We got him late, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's late. Lord Dan, an absolute pleasure. The legendary Dan Butchko of Playcrafting. Play NYC coming soon. Where can the fine people find you? Give them as much information about this amazing program you got going on. For sure, for sure. So you can follow all things mm -hmm. Playcrafting at just playcrafting.com. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to head over to Play NYC, whether it's in person or tune into the stream throughout the weekend, mm -hmm. it's play-nyc.com. So play dash nyc.com mm -hmm. and yeah follow me on twitter it's at dan butchko d-a-n-b-u-t-c-h-k-o awesome. uh and at playcrafting so we have a lot Ooh. of stuff coming up this summer and play nyc is really going to be an awesome special time so if you can make it in person mm -hmm. we'd love to see you there if not make sure you tune in online for the stream for the two days nice absolutely keep, keep, keep in mind for nice people meeting you yeah. nice, nice to meet you meeting. too like you too Likewise. Keep, keep in mind for people that's never been to an event this is a really good event that mm -hmm. you know it's not going to be extremely crowded because they're still building up their brand and mm -hmm. you can you can have a good time play some games and it'll be a good you know, first entry for a lot of people that's never been to an event. Because I ain't gonna lie, if I've never been to an event, going to like an E3 or something, I'd be intimidated. There's yeah. thousands of people walking yeah. everywhere. Like, no yeah. doubt. Dan Java, yo, shout out to Hip Hop Gamer in the chat. The Lords, let's go, my man, Dan Butchko yes. on here. Fire. Yeah. Love Hip Hop Gamer. Yes, Hip Hop is in the building. You're getting a lot of love. The, the, the fans, I mean, again, the realm really love the, the knowledge, the gems you were dropping on, in, on the indie game scene, the development side. I love what you're doing, the promotion of it. I love that New York talk, keeping us in the conversation bringing sure. these conventions and making it eventually one of the meccas of gaming so that it's synonymous we ain't got to go to the west coast all the time that's right we can We're keep on it our on. way exactly all we, need, all we need is that rock star to, to announce gta 6 at oh play NYC. NYC. Play NYC. <laughs> there we go rock star you know what to Let's do make it happen you know Let's make it happen. we're working our way there we'll get there <laughs> <laughs> no doubt lord king lord dan everybody give this uh salutations to uh, uh yeah, dan well, skyward sword on the 16th brother <laughs> yes Unison everybody <laughs> go get skyward sword and you have to play it the way it was intended to be played Woo! split up those joy cons no pro controllers let's go <laughs> let's go right. solve your sal <laughs> solve your salutations the lord damn for you yeah absolutely I, just, I can't i can't wait for august um i i love playing yc that, that that first event was just amazing i love the intimacy of it i love the fact that it's just it's just so much new york love like cog says that mm -hmm. we don't get that on this side um and just i I'm, I'm excited to be a part of seeing it continue to grow no so now august 7th so excited you'll be there yeah august yeah. 7th and we and we with the bearded brothers i don't know what we're gonna do with cog we're gonna have to like get some like Look, you're dead. <laughs> Enjoy your day, brother. I will see you August seventh, right? August seventh. Se August seventh and eighth. Yeah, yep. we, we got will four definitely. Weeks. We will definitely be there on the seventh, and it will be fun to cover the event and see you in your element once again. Enjoy awesome. your Sunday, brother. Have a good one. We got super chats and more messages to do, so I'm trying to get you out before the trouble starts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm about to go in. Have at it. Yes, Wait, yes, yes, gloves yes. off. Go I'm off. out the door. Yes, gloves yes. off. <laughs> Have a good one, dude. Bye, Thank you, everybody. No, no, Talk to so, you later. Bye, no, no. That, so, so, now, now I can be. Messy. Yes, now y'all can be messy because y'all clearly want to be messy. So, Lord, real quick, what's up? Uh, I just, I just want to ask. So, this was the first event that we've gotten from PlayStation, right? Since yes. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's get it. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. No, I can understand that. Then, like, uh, uh, you know, PlayStation Insiders. Oh my God. Wait, wait, no, no. I mean, I can understand where you're coming from, King. PlayStation oh. Insiders don't exist, obviously, because <laughs> I was hearing a lot. I was hearing a lot of things mm -hmm. that were supposed to be at this uh, state of play and it ended up being an indie I, show, so. I know <laughs> that this God of War I know <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I know that this isn't probably the case uh -huh. but it's just like man we 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 damn near in the middle of July, like yeah. like like so, I, I'm low key starting to feel like they might not be a show for well, a the, ru the rumor is they're supposed to be August. one more. There's always rumors. <laughs> <laughs> the rumor is the rumor. Is, <laughs> the rumor is the rumor. Let's go with the facts. Uh -huh. The facts is y'all showed up lacking, son. <laughs> like lacking. Y'all showed up to a shootout with a butter knife. <laughs> Yo, and y'all thought. Yo, how you 
you gonna show up with your biggest gun is us. <laughs> no, Def how, how you gonna have the biggest the showcase is gonna be wrapped around Def Loop. Is that a Microsoft game? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> you messy. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so you don't think there's no there's no maybe, chance they can do another one with Horizon and God of War? Oh man, nobody cares about the Horizon. So, we already saw so that. Stop showing just to us the just, same just, stuff. Just, okay. to, just to clarify though, uh -huh. if it does, you know people gonna be on your ass. Right? Oh yeah, they're gonna be on them. Listen, I don't care what they come for. They yeah. can come for anything. It still ain't gonna be better than Microsoft show. I don't care what you can show God of War all you want. You ain't gonna get it now. <laughs> 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 so, you you can be like, yeah, God of War is coming. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> so you implying that there's still nothing to show that they, that, they that... don't have no game. They don't, <laughs> they don't have no. They, the only game they got is Death Loop. That's our game. So hold on, hold so on. So are hold you on. implying that the real, real they got no games narrative should apply to Sony? Is this what we doing? Them. That's them. Who else is it? That's them. <laughs> Yo, Yo I mean, look, we we so laugh, we laugh, but it could be true, like Yo, that, Microsoft. That. Has so many games. They did multiple shows during the week. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, you knew when they did their show. You know how confident they was when they came out. And they told you we got thirty right, games. So, so, so I put, I put, I put <laughs> another poll in the chat. Is uh, King, King right? right. Yes, yes, King or no? right. Yeah, yes or no? Is King right that the <laughs> that the people who have no games are Sony this year? Is that is, is King right? Please vote. It's a live poll. We're doing new stuff. Sony don't do. have no game. What do you need to see? You gonna say Horizon coming out? You don't even know what's coming out this year. <laughs> you don't know. But we know what's coming. That big bad Halo coming. Oh yeah, yeah. Check Rise it out. Of they removed the barrier. King is always play. right. No poll yeah. needed. <laughs> <laughs> I've always, Shout out I've been the movie. telling y'all the facts for a minute. Mm -hmm. If they keep on postponing stuff, you keep on listening to eat these insiders. The insider <laughs> has said that um, we will Luca have- said we should trust these insiders. I Why? definitely didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but Luca, I should be listening to all. They said I'm going to get a Switch Pro. They said all these games is dropping nah, nah, for Sony nah, nah, this year. Nah. I should be listening to them, right? No, 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 no. Like, I, I don't, I don't, listen. When Let's will PlayStation it. insiders be right? I don't know when. It was. It's not this year. It wasn't last year. It wasn't the year before that. So mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. Like, whenever I hear these rumors, I'm just kind of like, oh, okay. You know what's we'll funny see. is mm -hmm. I, I made a lot of people mad because I was like, Dill out here doing more insiding oh, for he PlayStation. Kinda, yeah, he predicted the, the, the PlayStation yeah, insiding. And what's going. funny is, uh, shout out to BG via Messi, he's the user. And he was like, oh, yeah, he's like, what? 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 When that ghost thing came up, he's like, where was these PlayStation insiders <laughs> when this was announced? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Look, Jake, I, I, I'm just surprised you go hard. You going real hard at him, man. Listen, You're listen. surprised? No, I am. I didn't fact, expect this from I the indie showcase. You know what I told these dudes? I told these dudes what's gonna happen to Sony, and y'all like, nah, nah. Y'all are sitting in a room full of fire, talking about it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be. We go. We go. God of War gonna come. <laughs> Yo, what if it's whack? Like, <laughs> oh, now what that's what we doing. Whack? What if you, you what know? If, what? And don't tell me that it's not cross gen because it is. Yeah, or, yeah. So don't tell me it can already, only be done on PlayStation already, 5. They already said uh -huh. it's cross gen. You yeah. know, I, I was talking to King about this, and like, mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, I wasn't there with him a couple months ago when he was talking about this, but mm -hmm. now that we see the ghost, what they're doing there, uh, you know, what they're doing oh, their the director's cut. Phase. No, no, not, 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 <laughs> not that, not that. I'm not talking not about that. that. I'm saying that now that we see with the uh, Last of Us, where they did the the one where uh, it was with her after the original Last of Us game, right. mm -hmm. we seen with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn with the ice one, whatever mm -hmm. that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we're seeing uh, Miles, Spider-Man, mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. saw, uh, that was in a, uh, in a standalone expansion after the original Spider-Man. And now we're seeing it with Ghost where this another one is after and it's in standalone. Well, I don't know if that one's a standalone game, but mm -hmm. you know, I'm I'm starting to think he he, he might be on to something. Oh, King might be on. We turn it around that, to the right, profit. That Ragnarok might be like a like a, a standalone expansion. It's not a full blown DLC. sequel. Like oh, so all right. So are we implying DLC. that? Oh god, here he go. So are we implying that the lack of games is going to go into this either director's cut mode uh, and, 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 and DLC like a Miles Morales kind of mode where like mm -hmm. and, and, the, <laughs> and, and it might 
mm-hmm. it, you know, I hope I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. I really do, because I really do want a, a good experience of a guard. And it will still be a good experience. I enjoyed Miles. But, right. uh, you know, uh, people want Spider-Man 2 more than they wanted Miles. Right. So, you know, uh, I hope that that's not the case. But, I mean, we can't say that that's not the pattern. Like, right, right. we saw Spider-Man, the next Spider-Man entry was mm-hmm. like a standalone experience. It mm-hmm. wasn't like a next. True, but we did get Returnal and we did get Ratchet this year. They got they We got ret- the- broke Turnal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't, don't don't act like that day, that game didn't come in really hot. It yeah. came in so hot. Those games shut like your if, system. Up. I'll give you. I'll give you Ratchet. Ratchet, ratchet is, is wait, it, wait, 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 wait. Oh. You don't even want to get you Ratchet. Don't even want to ratchet now. Come on now. I told y'all Ratchet was a glorified pull button, <laughs> and what it turned out to be, it was a glorified pull the board close button. <laughs> <laughs> so uh-huh. when the game comes out. On, on, on PC, because it is. Shout out to Nexus. <laughs> Nexus, really your people. Your yeah, yeah, shout out to Nexus, the PC I part. I respect your work. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait for y'all to, to get that ratchet over. Please, expeditiously. <laughs> um, because y'all think this SSD is something and it's not. So, and y'all think, oh, it can't be done on the PlayStation 4. It will be. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all believe in generations. You don't. <laughs> Do, do you think that saying, if that is the case, uh, that's going to be a huge issue? Like, it's a mm-hmm. huge issue for the people that believe. I mean, if the if the game is good, mm-hmm. the game's good. People aren't right. going to care if it's like mm-hmm. a, a sequel or not. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I, I do think you know people expected that true Spider-Man sequel, and mm-hmm. people expected. It. True, but it's still selling. We talking all this talk, still but and, and all the these games coming. are selling hot. You I know think Ragnarok's going to be a sequel. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think yeah. I think it's gonna be a sequel. Now the thing is, if it comes out next year, we're talking about four years removed from from the launch of the original one, right? <laughs> but four the, years built on the same engine, can you make a game at, no. that is is as big in scope as it, as the first one? I think you can if it's the same engine. Obviously, it, it's 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 uh, cross gen, so that's a possibility. Three point five hours. And the thing the thing that yeah, I will say they're though, gonna give you Asgard. To the say, thing, there you go. The thing that I will <laughs> say though is like. This isn't like standard development time. They have probably a year and a half, right? And then you have COVID, years of COVID, right? right. Like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So like, this isn't standard thing. Yeah. And, and I've well, always, but do you think? I've always you felt think like change the game as a result of COVID. No, or it, it just take longer I, to make. I'm it? saying, I'm saying that you know. It's not a hundred percent, but there is a possibility. This is this is like kind of a, a Miles Morales standpoint or it the is. new Ghost thing. Like, and I'm not saying that that's a hundred percent right because that that's clearly I not am. the case. <laughs> <laughs> I, am say, I, I am saying I am saying that. Look, like, saying it. Uh-huh. If you look at it from the standpoint, they said the game was coming out this year. We, regardless, if we all was like they're full of, full yeah. of it, they still said it was coming out this year. True. Mm-hmm. So not. whether or not. Can I can I speak? With yeah, you? Yeah, no, 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 I'm in the so, background. I'm just chiming he's in. He's just providing commentary. Yeah, he's providing right. context I, I, and commentary. You don't so re- got to worry about re- me. Regardless, it, we, it, regardless how they perceived it, they still announced it. So right. you know, maybe that was something they just threw at the end of a state to play for more of a hype scenario, mm-hmm. or maybe the game was actually supposed to come out this year. Right. And then if the game was supposed to come out this year, what that's like? What when did 2018? Mm-hmm. That, that that that's a little bit of time, but like with the COVID thing happening. Like, I personally feel like if it's a sequel, game's not coming out to 2023. I don't think it is. Mm. Uh, Cause I feel like, I personally mm. feel like that. And it's like I said, I haven't been thinking about this forever. I've always thought that Ragnarok was a next gen, not next gen, but a, an actual true sequel. But after seeing the Ghost of Tsushima thing and that go, that's not even that old. Like, you know what I'm right. saying? Like they rebranded the game. Well, to, but the to, ghost thing isn't at all standalone, right? It's part it's, of it. It's, it's not a standalone. They're but forcing they, you about it. They, they, they're, they're, they're low key making it a standalone. They're like the only way you, I mean, I guess that's not true. Cause you could buy it on the you PlayStation. Buy it on a PlayStation 4. But, I mean, mm-hmm. I, you know what? King's full of it. You turn the thing down. You, come yeah. you turn you come, you came to your senses. I'm pulling it back. Like, but but I, I will say that you know I don't think the game's coming out next year. I don't. I, okay. I think that, I think because of because of COVID, it was originally supposed to come out next mm-hmm. year. Uh, be, but because of COVID, because I personally feel like they threw out, and that's that's another thing. No one. Absolutely no one called them out that they literally went out there and lied about a release date to generate hype. Oh, no, no, no about the God of War first. They first said, like they said, right around. Everybody did roll their eyes like, yeah, they, 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 they come just out. like, 
that's like you said we believe in generations to believe to generate hype you I didn't know, know right? that ragnarok put out a release date yeah they said they, 2021. they said oh, when they first announced yeah. it they said 2021 they said 2021 yeah. they did and, and they, they had they the wanted, jpeg yeah they wanted people to go out and buy playstation 5s and they wanted to gouge the public and they like yeah and, and i just and then I they personally... said after that it's coming to the PlayStation 4. <laughs> I just I just personally felt like if that was Microsoft, mm -hmm. a lot more people would... Like, let's say Microsoft did that with... Uh, let, let give an example, Hellblade. Hellblade right. coming out in 2021. Right. They never gave a release date. They, uh, it, you know, if that happened and that was just delayed out of it, and we knew... I think a lot of people were like, the moment that game got delayed out of 2021, hey, Addict, I, I think there's something wrong with the, with Ninja Theory over mm. there. Like, why yeah. are they delaying the game? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean... And, yeah, and but, I, we, but I felt like when it came to Sony doing it, they're like, oh, oh, it's you know we didn't expect well, it. We've talked about the double. Yeah, we standard. talked about the double. Like the double yeah, standard, it yeah. really does exist. I think there's we, a Sony bump, there's a Nintendo bump, and and Xbox I think, really does have to. The, Xbox has to be exemplary all the time. Right. I think that we need to really start bringing up this. That and I know you know people might disagree with this. Mm -hmm. We need to stop this mentality. Sony makes great games; they can do whatever they oh, want. Oh, I know you're going because yeah. you've and, had and that I conversation. I see that so yeah. many times. Sony does whatever the they games want are because fire. they make good games. The games are fire. Sony can we literally we can absolve them from everything oh, else and deceptive this practices. No, I mean I, you have all this energy for Sony, but none for Nintendo. <laughs> 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 but, so, no, 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 it's because we, ex we accept the fraud. Let's, 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 no, let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it, Luca. Explain <laughs> to me where the energy is different. Let's get to it. Let's go. Because you're all like, well, you know, we don't actually expect much from Nintendo. I mean, I, I, bought, I bought the, the Switch. Thing is, though, you know, wait, it, hold on, hold on. I bought okay. the Switch in order to play some good games. You know, I don't expect any power or anything like that. You know, it's all good, man. You know, like, it's you know, all good, it's, man. It's, it's all, it's all, you know, so, it's all so, Gucci. But like, what? So, how dare these ponies? <laughs> Over here saying it's okay for PlayStation to release these games and to lie to us. <laughs> okay, so let, 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 let me let me ask you. Uh, <laughs> oh, here so, we go. So first off, uh, I've always stated that I've bought these for this and that for that. I bought the Switch for its first party title. I bought the PlayStation for its first party title. Mm -hmm. For the most part, is Switch going out there lying to their consumers, or is it the actual fan base hyping up? Oh and yeah, yeah, Switch inside is yeah, Switch is for their stuff. Yeah, that's, it, it, I have stated from the I have stated from the beginning. I did not believe the 4K. <laughs> yeah, he did. He so, did, he did. so it, when you it wasn't, you wasn't out, with me on the DLSS. There, and I've stated multiple times, even in this podcast, I have zero expectation for Sony. I uh -huh. mean, for Nintendo. For Nintendo. Uh -huh. But when it comes to PlayStation, they make great games. That's one thing. But it's just like we can't just like. Ignore the fact that they're lying to people, they're false advertising stuff, and every time something's brought up, yo, they make bangers though. <laughs> like, yeah, I, mean, I definitely yeah. like they're definitely lying. Uh it well, I don't think the God of War Ragnarok teaser, I don't think that was intended to be a lie. I think the uh, vid situation happened and they had to push it back. And now that I know that they actually put out a release date, I mean maybe y'all have a point about it not being a full sequel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, but joke. it's like, yeah, uh, you know. I guess Jim Ryan is alive. Remember, but, but you know what? You know what it is. The thing is, okay, Luka, like when they when they yes, did when they when they announced God of War Ragnarok, yeah. that was leading up to the, the launch of PS Five. So it, 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 we were in the middle of the pandemic, and they 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 knew that game wasn't coming out. And, right. And the, yeah. let's, let's be real here. That like people can say what they want. That God of War thing is one of the key reasons that that entire showcase was even good. Mm. Like it, it had mm. good announcements, right. but that God of War thing is that people are like, yo, I'm good now. Let's yeah. go. Like, yeah, yeah. No, like, it, it was, it was, it was, it was selected. But, I, I, but it I, was just right. a logo too. Like again, it, 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 it's 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 hype. It was a JPEG and it's hype, and it is just that thing where it's like, okay, we give them that one more thing. They did it with Metro Prime Four, right. like all that stuff. Like even it, Nintendo's it, done it. Nintendo, we yeah, gotta they, think, they, we gotta they, give they Nintendo date. We still waiting on but that Metro. What Nintendo Pro does is they put it up, but they don't give a date, and they just walk out the room. True, true, <laughs> true. The date, yeah, you're right, they you're right. Put it up. They said, and it's out in 2021. It's certain. And, 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 and to Luca's point, right? Why does why does Nintendo not get the same smoke? Is because of that direct competition between PlayStation and Xbox, right? And, and it, I, it, Nintendo's it, like it, it's messed up own. to say mm. they really are in their own lane, and no matter what they do, like if you don't want to engage with them. You don't have to, and they uh, they 100 percent don't affect what PlayStation does or Xbox does, right. and vice versa. I feel it's like, like that. Mm -hmm. I, f I feel like that. Let me just interrupt you real quick. Mm -hmm. I feel like that. That's the key thing. 
you know, people expect a certain thing when it comes to quality in terms of PlayStation games. So they get yeah. that hype, that generated hype. Mm -hmm. uh, people expect certain things from Xbox that, you know, in a lot of cases, they do, they haven't delivered in a while in terms mm -hmm. of their, their quality mm -hmm. of their games. So people give them that, uh, that, that, mm -hmm. uh, that heat. But when it comes to Nintendo, no one really expects anything from Nintendo. Like, <laughs> like we can just be real. Like, like we're happy if we get an online feature. Like, <laughs> which is like, really sad. Which like, is sad. And, and it is sad, but it's like at the end of the day, it's like I've it's... always said, like, you know, voice your opinion, but yeah. if they got you, they got you. Look, look, that you it know... happened after the GameCube. Now I hear everybody, and I remember the mm -hmm. last time Nintendo competed. The last time they GameCube. competed, the, the reason why everybody can go back to the GameCube. And said the GameCube was a real shining moment mm -hmm. because they stepped up to the plate with a third party. They stepped up to the plate with their first party. They stepped with up to power. The plate with hardware. Right. <laughs> they stepped up to that power PC. Remember that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That, that was that was a game changer. They mm -hmm. really went all out with that console. And the fact that that console did not beat the PlayStation 2 or the 360 uh, or oh, the actually, Xbox, OG Xbox or, yeah. or, 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 or they went away from console that. Yeah. that they were going up against. They said, you know, that's when the Wii came out right they and that's the when they, they they went away from power and they went towards the gimmicky side of things and trying to get back to the nature of who they are at that moment they lowered our expectations for whatever they were going to produce mm -hmm. forward mm -hmm. so i mean they tried it, the gimmicky stuff on the gamecube with the the little discs and stuff yeah, yeah. they've always but, been about but the that, that that was just to combat uh bootlegging yeah, um, yes, that's that's good point. Yeah, yeah it was. That was, that was yeah. a huge thing to come back. Like it was big back then. Was, yeah, with CDs. Yeah, and they was trying to stop it. I know and Nintendo has always been yeah. on the forefront. <laughs> Allegedly, yeah. so. Allegedly. Yeah, Nintendo's like always big. been on the forefront on stopping piracy. They have yeah. like been. Yeah, they don't like you in there. Yeah, from, from the beginning. <laughs> they was like, you gonna buy our stuff straight Facts, up. Facts. But yeah. to to Addict's point, he started gaming in this era in that time mm -hmm. and he's seen that how they went down to the lower expectations of the hardware itself right now to give you a switch see where you back. i'm used to nintendo with power with the super nes and right. mode That's seven not, and no, no, yeah no. like they they're out of that they're like they're, yeah, they're they're they've shown enough that. evidence that they don't care right about that. They, they won that one war and they like you know what um that's it i can't financially i feel like the reason not cost effective for the them to battle right. people with the and addict alluded to it that demographic is kids. not us yes the kids it's don't care kids. about that facts mm -hmm. no you're right you're right and, and and to their point they win it i just want to backtrack to one thing that addict said that i do want to talk about which right. is you know because a company or platform makes quality games which we love right we we, we want our company to do that i do agree with addict that that does not absolve bad and treacherous business practices or deception mm -hmm. that's the thing i don't like i don't like well the games are fire so what they lie to me about that but the games are fire you know what i'm saying so what they said this about generations but the games are fire so what they're gonna maybe charge me for a feature that most other people unlock or whatever the games are fire so what we're gonna you know we're gonna promise hundreds of shows and, and keep but the mind, games sony are fire see, right see, that, yeah. sony that, sees that, this that's stuff. the like, thing I just say we have to be careful of as gamers. I understand it is about the games, but at the end of the day, it's okay to say, look, I love Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, I love these games. I'm going to pick it up and support, but I don't necessarily agree with this practice. I don't necessarily agree with you saying that these games, are, you know, we believe in generations and then they, we, we come to find out later through a blog post, right? That always coming to the PS4 too, and it's, you know what I'm saying. That's the only thing. It, it's just I, I just want more accountability. You can love Sony; it's all good. Like you know what I'm saying. Just mm -hmm. accountability, like yo, that's that's not it. That yeah, you, right there ain't it, fam. You know what I'm saying. You could go. Back. I'm gonna buy, but that part ain't it. That's all. You, you could go back. You can look at us attacking Microsoft for yeah. them raising that the 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 Xbox uh, gold the membership. Gold, yeah, gold. yeah, we was on them. Understand that thought process. Bro. And it's like you and you know we. Obviously, Nintendo, mm -hmm. you know, I, I've never been the kind of person. I, I've always been the first party person mm -hmm. with them. I don't really care what Nintendo does. And for right. the most part, I don't even play a lot of their games. But a couple of their games I do enjoy, like the right. Zelda games. And and it's like I said last week with the Ghost of Tsushima. I think that's completely bogus. Right. But if you love Ghost of Tsushima, you right. don't have to eat that. Right. And, and the other one other point that I see, another thing is I'm tired of whataboutism. Right. If if they your platform does something that is bad. <laughs> yo, true. but they but they did this. They, yeah, Stop pointing the finger about somebody. <laughs> just say, yo, fam, you right. That ain't it. 
You know what I'm saying? What about it? Yeah, I'm tired of what about You notice when you tell somebody about their favorite platform. And there's a lot of buck passing. Yeah, it's like the, the, the first yeah. thing they want to talk about is, yo, but they did. And, all right, what fam, about it? Just let's address this first. Is this right or is this wrong? Yeah. I Answer mean, the question. A, that's a really good point there. You know what I'm saying? It's always. Go ahead, Luca. Go ahead. Talk your talk. Listen, my thing is, and I'm going to bring it back to Nintendo once mm -hmm. again. Because we are existing in this space that we're in, mm -hmm. in which the console war consists primarily of PlayStation versus Xbox. Right. Everyone gives Nintendo a pass, and it's like, well, I mean, you know, it's Nintendo. Nintendo yeah, is no, just going to do whatever they want to do. For my own and life. then no one ever says anything like, actually, this is what they're doing isn't right. Just right. because. Just because you don't actually care about what Nintendo is doing doesn't mean it's yeah, okay. Right. Like for me personally, I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, I will be the first person to rag on anything Nintendo's doing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing with uh, Xbox and PlayStation. Just right. because I personally am like not highly invested in the Switch ecosystem I, and I have a Switch. Yeah. Too, uh -huh. Don't get me wrong. Uh -huh. But doesn't mean I'm just going to give Nintendo a pass for whatever it is they're exactly. doing because they're not Microsoft and they're not PlayStation. Exactly. It doesn't work like that for me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I really just think that the reason people in our community give them a pass is because they're not xbox and they're not playstation, PlayStation right so they just can do whatever they want and everyone's like what's nintendo and nintendo can do whatever <laughs> and ooh, nintendo their games are great but you the know games, this, the games this are standard, fire yeah, yeah, the standard doesn't apply for exactly. anyone else because it's nintendo and i'm just like i don't care that it's nintendo and they're not on the same level as PlayStation and Xbox when it comes to this console war in your mind right. or in their minds, what they're doing is still wrong. They are still a shady corporation. Yeah, that, that's Just all like we say. Let's just call it out. That's all Nintendo, we say. Ni honestly, Nintendo is the worst of the three. They are the worst. <laughs> they are. By far. By far. They don't even pretend to, 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 to act like they listen to you. Like they don't. <laughs> Like at least PlayStation kind of made. I mean, Jim Ryan comes out there, right? He shows yeah. his face. Like they, you know, Nintendo will give you a direct that you cannot respond to. There are no, mm -hmm. there are no QAs after the directs, right? Yeah. There's none of this. So they now they they QA. are the absolute a hundred percent worst. Um, and the thing about and, and, it and is, the funny thing is the, the PlayStation and the Nintendo, they, they, they're the leading platforms. They're the is. worst about it. It's That's like, what it is. It's the worst about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is very much enabling. And I, I just think for Nintendo, when it comes to the power narrative, I understand your, your guys' beef with like the quality of life stuff, the internet stuff. Oh, That's, God. That's all I, I, yo, That's all that I matters. Have a boot like, on their neck. I'm never yeah, going to no, get 100%. off Nintendo with that. That's ridiculous. Now, yeah. now, when it comes to the power narrative stuff, <laughs> I just really do think like, and we've seen it in the past. Yeah. I don't think the market can support three systems that kind of do the same thing. No, right? no, I get it. I, we understand. Yeah, I know where you're I going. Bro, I, all I want is 60 frames. Yeah, <laughs> I know what I'm saying. Luca, Luca. Luca. I, was, I, I don't even I, care. I, 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 I gave up. Luca, I gave I, I, I include that in quality of life. I include I that in quality of life. I don't need 4K, baby, dog. I don't need 4K. All right? I just need stable frames. Luca, look, I, I Luca, I'm with you. I include that in quality of life. Like 60 FPS at this point is baseline. I don't even care about that no more with that. I gave up on that. This I just you know what I want to do when Luca jump online. I want to say hi, Luca, Luca. to a message. That's all I want to do. Oh, My joint is a glorified stalker. Nah, let, me, let me get yeah. that fifteen digit number. Yeah, like it's a glorified yeah, stalker. Oh, yo, number. King jumped online today. And that's it. <laughs> that's, that's it. Can't it. message. It Can't party chat. Can't. I just see. Oh, you was on eight hours ago. I know what you did last night. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's all it is. It's a tracking device. Yeah. <laughs> it's a vaccinated system. Then yeah. I shouldn't get two cups of the string that I got to do this with my phone and all this. Anyway, it is yeah. what it is. And, and, and it is what it is. And the funny thing is, like, we always talk and about, hey, what? consumers. Mm -hmm. You're going to buy the next product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We always say, hey, speak with your wallet. Yeah. We don't do it. And, like, yeah, we don't and, do and, it. And, 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 and yes, um, before we get yes. to Super Chats, um, Lady Luca, the legend of Scum Cast, the amazing one. Good to have you back in the round, sis. Fantastic. It's been a minute. It's been yeah, a minute. thanks for having me. What's going on? You guys on? are doing amazing things over here. Um, yeah, yeah, like finishing raids with each other. Yeah, like exactly. Wow. 100%. Oh, Where's Kog? Yeah, let's see about and, this. And what, wasn't that like one take hold? We uh -oh. went through like really easy, like, wow, like just... Get it in, get it out, and we have stuff to do for the rest of the day. Oh, 
exactly. like this. Exactly. I don't like y'all yeah. teaming up. I don't it, like that. I'm gonna break this like, up. I hit up Kong. I'm like, hey, how's it going, brother? You know, <laughs> he's all like, he's all like, Luca, come join the Iron Lords podcast uh, clan. I'm like, oh, oh, we're gonna play together, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? We're gonna, we're gonna Crickets. Cricket oh, listen. I haven't seen Cog on since I joined the clan. So I don't know <laughs> and, and I told her, I said, yo, I said, if, if you need anything at any point you see me on, is a go. Mm -hmm. No problem. Uh -huh. and, then, and then she was there with Taz. We was like, yo, let's get this raid going. Got my team. Let's go. Let's get it going. And we, yo, it was more people that was inside our chat that was willing uh -huh. to jump in if anything went wrong. Is there any, is there any spaces? No, we good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're going to get this done here. Don't you worry I'll about that. I will be back. Let me settle in. Your, your boy had his Duke hat on for a little bit. Oh, but she's, you know what her, her game of skills, but, yeah, I, so I got to test. She get busy? You know, she, no dying, no oh, problem. That's what's up. L listening in the raids, communication? Oh, Oh no problem. That's what's up, what's up. Okay, okay. No, maybe, maybe good because I'm tired of doing like two jobs. So maybe <laughs> everyone easy. can do a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got big Taz in there too. You know, Forte that's, that's, in there. That's the whole thing. Like the mm -hmm. whole thing is everybody was proficient at whatever job that they were given because no it was a lot of people's first time in that raid, like myself at mm -hmm. that point in time. Um, she was doing it the first time and. We got called inside to go into because yeah, I remember I, I, got, I, I got so like, oh no man. <laughs> I remember I got so annoyed one time that we were doing a raid with someone. I can't remember who it was, mm -hmm. and they kept dying opening the portal. And I was like, I will call out the oracles and I will open the portal to hide somewhere. <laughs> go like, yo, yo, listen, oh, listen. when they explaining it to us, mm -hmm. <laughs> she get a test. I'm an idiot. So they explain. So you're gonna go through it. You gotta see this. You gotta do that. And I was like. <laughs> I said, you heard that, Lucas? She's like, yeah. I said, sound good in theory. <laughs> That's that when they give bad information. You're like, yo, what am no, I supposed you to do? Me so much information. I'm like, okay. I was like, yeah, I have no idea what you're saying, but all right, let's go ahead. <laughs> me, and, me and King in here by our, like, oh, okay. okay. Well, I guess we're just going to try then. I no don't doubt. know how this is going to go. So. But it ended up it. working out. I mean, we ended yep. up uh, gotcha, clear? very oh, successful. Yeah. No doubt. And, yeah. So yeah, I mean, you know, great experience with the boys. Uh, missing Cog, I don't I'm, know where he's been. I'm gonna get. I got you, sis. I got you. I'm coming <laughs> back. Was, all right, all right. But yeah, you guys can find me on Twitter at the Ash and Luca. Woo! I have a YouTube channel called the Ash and Luca, and mm -hmm. we do a podcast called Scumcast in which mm -hmm. we discuss mm -hmm. uh, gaming in the first half, and then mm -hmm. we do a, you, we do other stuff in the second half, like mm -hmm. TV shows, movies, life stuff, whatever's going on. Nice. So, what time? What time fun. is that show, sis? Wait, what, what channel can we uh, find it on? Yes. What, what it, time is it right now? It's the it, better okay. question. Okay, first of all, it's been on a consistent time for a Ooh. year, sir. Thank Ooh. you. Someone ain't uh, watching. Lord Attic, thank oh, you. No, no, it's, it's, eight, it's, it's 8 o'clock right now. Like, but right, no, now, right now it is uh, 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, okay. yes, I, I, no, I just, I just, <laughs> initially, I changed it. Now, you know, Attic the excuse like I gave out for changing it. I was like, you know, my panel's full of men who are married with kids. Uh -huh. No, the truth you is, uh, I was getting my hair done. <laughs> and I kept running like <laughs> Show, she looked like, the priorities. Let me Taz up in the building laughing. <laughs> What's good, Taz? But yeah, I was like, I'll go ahead and just change the time. It's fine. So it's 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern no on doubt. my channel, which is the Ash and Luca. No doubt. Salute that panel. The panel kind of fine. Yeah, the panel is amazing with slow mo. Woo! Meta when he shows up every six months. <laughs> <laughs> all day. I haven't seen all, all day. All day. I see him in a months. minute. I don't, I don't know yeah. where he is. Uh -huh. He just he just had a baby. Is so Forte on his fifth him. podcast with that one too? What are you mm. doing? Uh, well, technically speaking, not. Article's always been a member, but mm -hmm. like since I had it at uh, early time, he couldn't come through because he's at work. But now he shows up because he can. So he's, you know, Gaming Forte's on there. Amazing guy. Ooh. So, you know, oh, uh, shout out to those guys. They're all so much fun. Yeah. And it, it, I think the show's very funny. But and y'all got my boy Def, that. right? Def on there? Yeah, Def Singer has oh, beca recently oh, become man. a member of the he's channel. He's hilarious. Uh, that British accent. Yeah. yeah, for those of you that don't, it, he is the English person that's in our reaction. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah we always get, <laughs> Def is amazing to have a re Luke, also, we got to get you some more live reactions if you have time. If you're not doing yeah. it or for yourself, it's going to cast as well. But it's good to have you back in the realm. The Ashen One, Lady yes, Luca. thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. Let's get these uh. Super chats and then let's roll, Saul. 
So go if you're in their hustle, put her info in. Yeah, the put chat. her info in the chat. You know what I'm saying? And Luca, you ain't got to stay. We got mad reading to do. We ain't gonna stay around for this if you don't want to. But um, yeah, yeah go ahead, uh, so you got everything caught up with the. Show well, no, on a second, no, I was just scrolling back down. So give me a moment. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. I go ahead and announce some stuff real quick. Yeah, go okay, for it. So, so I I see you guys enjoyed the 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 Sea of Thieves thing a oh, lot. Uh, I wasn't referring to you, but okay, mm. King enjoyed it too. Uh, no, I'm saying they loved it. They loved oh, it. I thought you said I loved it. No, they, they loved it. So, you know, I, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, point out, I pointed it on the stream, but obviously, you know, there's more people watching the actual podcast mm-hmm. than there are that. Uh, how we're going to do that, because that takes a lot out of us. We all have to come together, find a good time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're, we're going to put those live react, those live commentary community things with just all four lords we're going to put those like you know on a go tier uh so right now you know uh, lo- the people that subscribe to our patreon the people that are members of our youtube channel you know appreciate all of you guys appreciate everyone for coming mm-hmm. uh but how we're going to do it is every time we get 15 new between both of those platforms we'll, we'll do another community stream now there, there's been arguing among the lords of what game we're going to play <laughs> so so i figured the good way of doing it is is once we hit that goal of 15, let's say, mm-hmm. uh, we will we will all come to get with a game, all mm-hmm. four of us, because ironically, four po four people, and we'll let. Oh, look at Twitter Tony Bryant. Shoot. Tony Bryant said he really wants to play Chivalry Live. Oh, that's and, 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 and <laughs> that, I do that, too, Tony Bryant. I do too. That, and that 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 and that's why I'm going the direction. I'm trying to be in the middle ground. You being messy. Like, I'm just saying. We'll I just want to cover what the round we're saying. I just want to cover. We'll all come up with a game, and then we'll put it on. You know, uh, we'll, we'll let everyone pick the game mm-hmm. fair enough fair enough no doubt no doubt um what you call solve are we caught up or are you ready? yeah we're ready to go yeah but ready to go. no doubt no doubt <laughs> Someone said I just got here and I oh. already know the king is right. <laughs> shout, oh, Midway <laughs> Boston, shout out. What up, Mama dude? What's going on? That's right, Midway. That's my guy. So let's get these uh, super chats. Uh, we got Raiden Blade, 10 pounds. Super chat, thank you very much. Uh, I forgot what it was that we said we congratulated him on. So I <laughs> forgot. <go>. <laughs> Congratulations. There <laughs> we are. Percolator 9,000. Five dollars. Time for the percolator. Time for the percolator. <laughs> time for the percolator. <laughs> Hello, Lords. I'm just here to pay my dues. Hope uh, to be worthy someday. Have a great day, panel. No no doubt you do as well. You know who goes to the club. <laughs> 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 I don't care what you're doing. That song come that's on. That's come on. It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we got Italian clowns, fifteen dollars super chat. Oh, what up, clown? Dear, Dear King, is the Switch OLED the equivalent of the TCL TV? <laughs> 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 I feel bad for all those who just paid scalpers for their switches. All hail the King. Yeah, no, no. That's, that's the old head switch. The old head. <laughs> the OLED. It's the old head. The, the OLD. OLD. <laughs> OLD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like got, oh my god look look i will i will what i see the stream they're constantly pushing for 300 likes mm. we got close to stream one stream Scout of sky Lord, let's go. <laughs> one it's not doing the whole game it's not yes. happening he's gonna finish it in one sitting ladies yes we're gonna do no, they're gonna do multiple streams because you gotta finish it right i, I will I, I i will i will start I like sky with sword and I'll play Minesweepers on my <laughs> Minesweeper. Sweeper. No doubt. What else we got, Saul? So? Uh, then we got Smitty Smith, $5 dollars the chat. Nintendo, Ow. with the new screen, now you can really see your games running like crap. <laughs> <laughs> the Book of X. The Book of X. <laughs> no doubt. Then we got uh, Flame, $2 super chat. I'll back up Addict here. Switch Pro doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Don Otaku, $2 Ooh, super chat. The Don. Switch Pro get got held back because of chip shortages. Okay. Uh, possible. Possible. No, it didn't. Yeah. I think we got but, exactly what they intended to give but us. But the wide back <laughs> made it out the door, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, bro. Excuse me. <laughs> what poll? King just won a poll. King is right. 91%. 91%. Well, he dominated with this. King it, is right. It was, uh, is King right about what PlayStation got? Oh, oh, no, PlayStation no got game. no game. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. They ain't got no games. <laughs> <laughs> then we got... King Doovy, two dollars in the chat. Switch Pro getting dropped to the new breath of the wild. Hey, call, get on Facebook real quick. No doubt. Mm-hmm. Then we got Hargit Shanai, five dollars in the chat. Difference is Nintendo sells out of profit. Microsoft is taking a loss on the Series S and X. Mm-hmm. Okay. Smitty Smith, five dollars super chat. The switch is coming in hot and straight into the bushes. The they book sell of out X. of profit <laughs> because they're selling you old tech. If Microsoft <laughs> was selling you old tech and PlayStation was selling you old tech, you're making they a would killing. Make money too. 
Congratulations on that old LD. <laughs> <laughs> the old LD. <laughs> there we got Dan Lazaro, two dollars super chat. It's pathetic. Nintendo fans have no self control. I agree. Being one of them, I agree one hundred percent. There we have Donald Taku once again. Five dollars no chat. Nintendo is going into the DS, 3DS order, light to XL to DSi to new 3DS with upgraded specs. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Then we look. Uh, we had Gerald Mack, two dollars super chat. Deathloop looks like a dishonored reskin, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, it's the same mechanics. Like I said, the mechanics are very similar. So it's just a matter of what's different about this game. Um, you die. Then we you got yeah. Right. <laughs> it's it's my easy. It's my easy. It's my five easy. With the five dollars super chat. Let's say it. The play. The play of state was a reactionary move <laughs> about all the Sony don't support indies narrative. Yep. Why they only showed indie games? King, tell them. <laughs> if they don't have any games. <laughs> you wanted something they ain't there. <laughs> Looking for them to show you God of War. <laughs> you know it's good, man. Mm-hmm. There we got Gaming Forte, $10 in the chat. Nintendo finesse is real. I'm buying a Switch quarter, quarter step day one. Quarter along, step. With the, <laughs> along with 20% of their base. If the pro comes next year, I'm in for that too. <laughs> yes, sir. Savage. Only time would tell. And as always... Hey, King Boo Boo. <laughs> hey, Forte. <laughs> Savages. Oh, hold on. Two shout outs. Got to interrupt because I'm I trying to make it uh, a, do, be better about the merch. I'm um, getting their shout outs because we always tell them to, uh, we gonna shout them out. So, uh, mm-hmm. shout out to first Toto Dope. He brought that snap back. He the said, take the them stuff. knees, King, yeah. with that snap back. And right. then just now, Anonymous didn't say their name, just bought a classic T, the ILP drip, the letters. You know what I mean? So, look. That so, I definitely. <laughs> keep in mind, uh, anonymous. Keep, uh, keep in mind right now, uh, King is in the early stages of giving you guys new merch. So yeah, oh, we're yeah. working on that, and we're working on that. Um, what you call it, little man? Little man is in, in progress. Right. We're working. Continue. So, and we have uh, Donald Taco, two dollars super chat. Damn, no love for fist. <laughs> it was a standout <laughs> for me. It, it seemed like a cool Metroidvania side scrolling uh, with a yeah. With a, with a uh, hand hand combat, seventy bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like let's, see if, let's see if you're gonna put your fist in your pocket <laughs> or, or punch somebody upside the head. But charge you when they see bucks. the price, <laughs> <laughs> you go boil your hand into your fist. Mm-hmm. Your fist. Oh, God, just just question real quick. Uh-huh. Did you did the, have you did the poll yet? No. Okay, just making sure. Mm-hmm. Then we got a uh, Philip Carlisle, two dollars in the chat. I'm a PlayStation guy and stay to play sucked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on, shout out. I gotta shout out Midway. That was Midway that brought the t-shirt and oh, drip. Nice. Make oh. sure you put a message when you buy the drip. There's a spot to put a message so we can shout you, you know, out. You'll you know be saying? funny. Midway's like, ah, oh, someone didn't put a name. I'm about to claim <laughs> that. <laughs> Yo, you trying to take credit? Yo, they die. They coming for my boy. Midway, I know he for real. He said That's Midway. What out there snatching somebody's <laughs> trying to think nah 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 he ain't stealing drip he ain't stealing drip. that's my homie right there salute no, the midway put their name you know what midway you know what midway cog i bought that <laughs> <laughs> yo they savage they savage they trying to disrespect yeah. <laughs> okay, so. all right clutch man five dollars super chat mm. i got my kyoto fushimi theme controller early those mm. who know no shout out to xbox design lab no mm. doubt that's what's up then we got Raiden Blade, five pound super chat. God Award 2023-24. Horizon Forbidden West 2022-23. Late. Wow. Okay. In, inside of Raiden Blade. Mm-hmm. All right. Raiden yeah. Blade once again, five pound super chat. They should have known, they should have shown God of War Alpha, God of War 2 alpha footage, even if it's not ready. <laughs> Three for three, I did it, but to leave your fan base hanging, Stockholm syndrome incoming again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. That would have played too well if they showed some bad footage. Mm-hmm. Um, Brett Bingham, two dollars super chat. Sony state of state of pay. Wow, <laughs> that's what that is. This is state, state of pay. pay. That's what's up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then we have Soma King with the two pound and ninety three cent <laughs> of super chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Donating my free Google Rewards credit. Salute. So we got some Google Rewards. No credit. doubt. Then we got Smitty Smith, five dollars super chat. These Sony insiders need to go outside for a change. The Book of X. Insiders need to go outside. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. And we have Erotimus, five dollars super chat. Right. How is Sony right. highlighting a game coming out in September with Deathloop? And the next big game that's supposed to come out is Kena, which is August and a no show. Mm. Very because interesting. They know what I know. It's <laughs> wackest. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, well listen. 
It looked like everything else. It looked mm. like the same thing. Mm -hmm. It looked like the same thing. Let's see if we got a good story. Let's see if the frame rate hold up. Mm. But isn't that supposed to be coming to Microsoft too? Mm. Yeah, eventually. eventually, right? I don't know. Yeah. See you on the pass, Kino. <laughs> yes, time. time. Okay. He's like, time. Time. okay. Mm -hmm. um, then we got a uh, brat, two dollars super chat. Salute, lords. Cheers. Thank you, my brother. No doubt. We got Italians clowns once again. Five dollars from chat. Nintendo needs to reach out to TCL for a better screen. <laughs> <laughs> they got the best, man. They got the best, baby. Uh, o L D. L -D. <laughs> <laughs> Then we got Raider Blade Two Power Super Chat. Stockholm Syndrome equals PS gamers abusive core. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. uh, no Taku Two Dollars Super Chat. Mm -hmm. Switch has more 60 FPS first party games than the PS4 though. <laughs> That's crazy. That's That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Then we got Hargit Shanai Five Dollars Super Chat. Another great show. Salute to the Lords and King is always right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. They let it kick. I think got. We're caught up. We are all we caught up. No doubt. It is time for that poll. Attic, you want to do something? What you going to do? Yeah, so, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the poll in there when he says the poll. Right. You guys just vote before you guys leave. We get curiosity. Just on, curious on, on that. A live interaction on what's yeah. going on. So, new logged in ILP weekly poll brought to you. It's actually courtesy of. I'm gonna butcher your name, brother. Select Bang 007. Select <laughs> Bang. Select Bang 007. <laughs> courtesy of our Select Patreon tier. So we're gonna be trying to include y'all more, the patrons more who are actually in there supporting us. And let they want to do polls. You guys can put your own polls in as well. We'll we'll do some slight edits if there's anything too crazy. But <laughs> um, in regards to the release of Battlefield 2042 by EA and the potential of Game Pass, which answer closely mirrors your thought process on purchase? The choices are A, $70, no campaign, and multiplayer only makes it a wait for Game Pass option. Mm. B, Battlefield 2042 looks amazing. Day one buy. I'm not waiting for anything when it releases. Or C, I don't care. We all know when Big Card come through, it's all over for Battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> those are the choices they are up right now in the chat live or like i said is also at the same time on lords of gaming.net as well so for those who miss the show please go to lords of gaming.net please vote the engagement really helps us plus support the tremendous writers that we got man. we got some it's like i said well. keep in mind if you guys want to have your own little poll man uh, yeah we we, we 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 do have uh tears for that right so we got tears so basically we're trying to do a little bit like attic was saying a little bit more fan engagement we're noticing in the patreon tiers you know people are coming up with polls they want to do that so yeah that's what we got anyway let's get our outros going i think oh look at that i thought she left her luca gave her outro so salute to her but I'm um still here. my man my man after i tried to kick you i was like okay oh, i didn't no, know she no, did no no i'll get you i'll get you bro no doubt no doubt you already know and she wants to talk that nonsense yeah we're gonna talk, talk after she wanna, she wanna <laughs> attack me the moment we're gonna, we gonna talk about talk after we're gonna talk <laughs> no, about <laughs> hot mic when the mics are not hot no more. so uh <laughs> let's get my man lord addict where can the find people find you what you got going on sir you can find me on Twitter at Lord Addict ILP. You can mm -hmm. find me on YouTube at Gaming Addict. Yes, I will be resuming uh, content tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, had a lot. Uh, I needed. I needed a mental break, man. I feel man. it, bro. I feel it. Was, it was just doing too same, much. Man. I need a mental me. break. My Destiny Clan attacked me though, but same for me. <laughs> Yo, well, 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 the, Destiny Clan, the Destiny Listen Clan, the Destiny Clan, no. So what you do for shows? Listen in action. The, 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 the Destiny Clan, hey, hey, that's, that's your business. Your business. <laughs> the Destiny Clan, no less. Yeah, that's it. The, <laughs> the Destiny Clan, no better to be expecting me to be there every day. Uh -huh. So, so uh, definitely. Well, first off, I want to you know thank uh, Lord Dan for coming on. I want to yeah. thank Luca for coming on, even though she slanders me. Uh, but you know, <laughs> definitely appreciate it. It's like I said. You know, Luca. Luca has a very, uh, very entertaining show. Yes, uh, you definitely go Scumcast. Some Scumcast. Uh, yes. you know, uh, we put that in the comment section. Mm -hmm. If you're still in there, hustle. Drop that in the comment section yeah, one more time. Salute the hustle for out here helping us yeah. hold us down. Man. And, he and, always you know, do. I, I, I want to appreciate everyone for coming through. Like I said, we'll be doing a little bit more uh, interaction when it comes to stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to the Lords after this. Mm -hmm. I try to give you guys a little bit more content that's not necessarily uh, uh, what we normally do. And we'll see exactly what we can do on it. Obviously, a lot of this, uh, you know, what we already do a lot from our day to day for ILP. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, thanks to, and it's all for you guys. You know, we, 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 we really 
put a lot of work to make sure we give you guys the best show we possibly can every Factual. week. And yeah. we're just going to try to expand that and, you know, do a little bit more content that you guys might not necessarily get from the podcast that you might be able to get outside the podcast. And I definitely appreciate everyone for coming through. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we, we had a lot of people in here. Yeah. You, know, you guys are always supportive mm-hmm. every week, man. And it looks like A's winning uh, the, the poll. Oh, okay. He's working. Okay. I, I just want to make yeah, sure. I, I like they put that poll in there, man. I like they yeah. put that Well, we also, again, because we, we need some engagement, you know, we, we got writers on, on, on Lord's Gaming now. I'm also going to put the poll on lordsgaming.net so please if you can if you're here it really helps the engagement for us in the algorithm seo and keep, when you guys click the link and actually vote on the site it yeah. really helps us and keep time. in mind that poll that's in there is just for you guys to vote live next week when we do that thing that's not going to be in the stats for the right. actual podcast like right. if you want to be part of the people stating your opinion next mm-hmm. week you got to do it on the website because that's the only one that's getting read next week yeah thank you man really really appreciate it. like i said please support lords of gaming.net those are our brothers and sisters fen- fen- phenomenal writers like they they are killing mm-hmm. it in the lord's minute that the oh, lord's is doing it's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So let's get Lord Solve. Where can the five people find you? What you got going on, sir? I got nothing going on. I'm going back to my regular schedule, so I'm done for. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm no, done no, for. no, no, yeah, no, oh, more, yeah. no more parakeets. No, 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 no more parakeets. Ah, I'm done. Beach. So shout out to, to Dan for coming through. Shout out to Luca for coming through. It's been a no minute. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see. We might have some gaming that going on next week, maybe. Right, no doubt. <laughs> Lord King bringing the smoke, winning all the polls, except Sky was sore. <laughs> Where can the five people... proper poll. <laughs> Where can the five people find you? What you got going on, sir? First, I want to give a shout out to uh, Lord Dan Butchko. Yeah, Butchko. Um, the only person that can get me the better need to get chipped. Yeah. So, <laughs> chipped. found out there was no way around it. Uh, <laughs> Now and, I'll uh, always know where King is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> everybody pull up the androids and you see me just walking around in your app. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be like my my phone gonna beep off because I have a diameter. It's like if King gets a certain close to my house, I'm like why is he here? That's yeah, the King. The King pull up at a proximity alert. Mm-hmm. <laughs> King is in the proximity. No, no. Gonna, gonna have to sign alarms. King is in the building. <laughs> Yo, no, no. shout out to Vogel's Creek. He's at 343 watching, only 79 votes. Yeah, hit that like button, y'all. Come on. Like we, I, I really ask y'all hit, hit that, that like button for real. Continue, um, kid. I give a shout out to Luca. Yo, it's she different when she played online. <laughs> right, so I, I, I thought honestly, huh? no, let me let me explain. <laughs> yeah, she jumped off you quick. Cause, cause, no, no, because I've been on her show. Yeah, she come with all the smoke. Yeah, not online like when we playing. No, that's no, true. That's no, true. no, no. It's, it's, it's totally different look. And then she saw a different king. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she saw that oh, game. She saw oh, that oh. game real. Oh, okay. I see you now. Like, <laughs> so, uh, so I don't know. Maybe she was in shock. Like, okay, I got you. I got you. Oh, no, no, no. Usually when I'm... Okay, so when I play raids, I'm mm. focused on getting the raid done. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. So, like, that's, like, my primary focus there. Mm. And I I don't want to be a detriment to the team, so I typically keep my mouth shut, especially if it's still, like, new for me. Oh, okay. so, yeah. Yeah, but it was it was a great experience. And even then, on when we was playing that, I was like, oh, man, you need to come on the show. We need to get you on the yeah, show. Yeah, I'll talk about it. Yes. When you... When you popped it i was like, like <laughs> <laughs> you stupid <laughs> so you know i need to get myself on scumcast yes so, you you're know, welcome anytime any of you are welcome anytime no you doubt. know what to do just hit me up and i'll definitely be there um mm-hmm. yo it's great show today mm-hmm. uh I, I love you guys as y'all can see who's spinning in the background Ooh. i had a lot of questions about electro and the reason why i didn't do electro on kos was yeah, um what's up? I didn't have a story for him. Oh, okay, okay. And I, I, I went back, I got all my books, all my Spider-Man books, and I was going through it, and I was going through it. Mm-hmm. And, and and this is Classic Electro, brought to you by... Um, uh, Prime shoot. One? No, no, this is... XM? XM Sasha? Okay. Yeah, uh, the great Daniel Bell sculpted that. So, oh. so Daniel Bell is the same person that sculpted the Silver Surfer, Surfer oh. and did Iron Fist and a couple mm-hmm. of other uh, uh, great statues. We got to talk about You still got that gotcha, man? Oh, yeah. We so you want to have a conversation with that? Okay, cool. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. He's he, no, he I just thought about I've been in this gotcha man bag. I thought like, I kind of. Yeah, yeah, it's for sale. Yeah, yeah. It's we, a conversation. We're going to talk. We're going to talk. All right. So, but um, <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, I have to get a craft a story, and I found the perfect story. Mm-hmm. Uh, Electro only has one really meaningful story, and I, and, and 
I try to give you a background history on stuff with KOS. So if you see KOS pop up, Fact. you know, um, I'm not going there trying to be the best uh, statue guy on mm -hmm. YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be... Even though it low-key you are, though. Know yeah, but... Talk or talk. <laughs> talk, um, talk. But <laughs> what, what I'm trying to do is just give you a glimpse into why I got something. You're yeah, 100% and better passion. than all these dudes that don't give you no backstory to show a statue. Continue. Yeah, and they, and they, they, they go to Wikipedia and tell yeah, you yeah, type. Mm -hmm. what they... Yeah. No history. Nothing that, nothing than that. But gotta, I, gotta I just give you me, no doubt. Just give you me, so, no doubt. You know, so. That's that's gonna go up this week. Um, mm -hmm. And shout out to Lord Cognito and Lord Attic for helping me in the background for when that stuff goes up. That is yeah. a group effort, y'all. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm doing the edits. Yeah, I'm doing the whatever stuff. But mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff when you go to the website. When you go to lordsofgaming.net, mm -hmm. uh, there's a whole synopsis. If you want to know the weight of the statue. Facts. And you want to know uh, who's the manufacturer and how you can order and what's going on and all yeah. this other stuff. There is a whole thing that's put up there. And that mm -hmm. stuff is put up there through hard work at the yeah. website Shout and out. on the YouTube as well yes. with some thumbnails from Attic yes. and stuff like that. Attic so kills it's a it. group effort. Group man. effort. King kills it with the the commentary, the the backstory. Just not just showing you a statue and then running away because he got a hot statue. He's giving you real synapses. You know what I'm saying? That's one. Addict is killing it on the YouTube side, getting the production value up, doing what we got to do to make that thing shine. And I want to shout out our editor-in-chief, Josh Redding, who yes. definitely puts the shine on the King article. You know what I'm saying? To get you those dimensions, to get you the extra stats and all that other stuff. And then King puts it out. So, yeah, salute to the whole team effort. KLS, very proud of that. And, yo, support my brother. Like, he's killing it, man. Like, anytime he puts it out, is fire, you know what I mean? I, I'm just gonna talk. My ears better oh, than and, these and, other and combat talk That's just me. Is, is, is coming. Mm -hmm. Combat no talk doubt. is coming. Uh, we're getting back to some normalcy. Mm -hmm. We had some big fights, so I, I'm my my juices is paused. Mm -hmm. Definitely flowing now. So <laughs> no I'm, I'm, I'm back into the situation. It's kind of dull mm -hmm. when you don't have an arena with people yeah. there to do stuff. So no doubt. And that's it. Yeah, you already know me, Lord Cogdiel. Again, salute, Lord Dan. Pulled Lord. up. Duke. The, 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 <laughs> Duke Cognito. You know what I'm saying? What, what Luca called me? Duke Nito. <laughs> Duke Nito. <laughs> I was like, yo, she's she wild. Duke Nito, it sounds good, right? <laughs> yo, salute to the it legend. Sounds like a it sounds like a B-rated Marvel here. <laughs> Duke Mito. Savage. Yeah, it makes me think of a uh, boss from Dark Souls. One. Dark Souls? Ah! Oh, no, I, I want to say something before you go off, before you close, like yeah. right at the very end. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. But yeah, salute to the homie uh, Matty Plays. Again, I want to thank the community. Y'all showing me so much love. Y'all making me feel home, you know, welcome. And everybody, you know what I'm saying? The whole team, it's been really fun to do. And like I said, I'll be back on Last Word. Don't think I got Hollywood on Last Word. Your boy had the ear, I can't show you the ear. It looked crazy. But, um, yo, I'll be back on that. And, uh, yeah, we got mad fun things planned. Crazy, good guests. A lot of stuff cooking. Please keep the support. The likes up. Lords of Gaming down there, all that good stuff. And, Attic, I'm going to let you close what you got before we get out of here. Yeah, so I will be returning to the Attic show this Tuesday. Mm. But uh, So definitely tune into that. But... For today, go over there and show show Fawn some love. Yes, you know, like, yes. Go over there. Tell them the ILP sent you. Tell them the Lord sent you, man. Yeah. Uh, yo, it's a great show. He's got Neo Spark on. Oh, there. you got Spark right now. Oh, oh yeah, 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 you gotta pull up. You gotta pull up. Spark is the homie. Yeah, so definitely go over there homies. to yeah. tell tell them the Lord sent you, man, and uh, we'll see you next week. No doubt, two that's, good homies. You're gonna love got. that interview. And again, salute, Lady Luca. Pull it up, Scumcast. Get on that to the Action Luca YouTube channel. Support. You already know. We see y'all next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>